These niggas gonna lie, bro. Pot didn't smash faith. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that one, bro. Mm, damn, Q. Baby, you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy vs. Everybody Podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shaw. Shaw vs. A-Bite Podcast, episode 199. Dog, we got a nigga who started this whole shit off, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back, man. Finally back, man. If, he, if it was for him, dog, I ain't gonna lie. Nigga, it probably wouldn't be no podcast, dog. Because like I said, this shit supposed to be a three-man team. Fuck my nigga Lance and KJ. Them niggas supposed to do this shit with me and shit. Them niggas turned me down. And I hit this nigga up last minute like, bro, you want to do a show? Nigga said, yeah, dog. But it's funny. It's a lot of shit that wasn't happening then. That happened now. You know what I'm saying? It's 2019, July 18th. Cam and Mace wasn't cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? It was still beefing. Nip was still motherfucking alive. That's crazy. I'll COVID, Nip. COVID didn't hit. Nigga Kobe was still here. Damn. Lonzo Ball played for the Lakers. <laughs> uh, Tubi wasn't popular. <laughs> R. Kelly was a free man. Damn. We couldn't gamble. Nigga, was no fan dude. Nigga, Rory and Moore was still on Joe Budden podcast. Lions was still trash. Nigga, guy was still trying to get with Angela Simmons. <laughs> and this, That's crazy. We put it like that. <laughs> we got my dog, Sean Streets, man. We got rapper, motherfucking a homie. Nigga, father, businessman. Bustle legend, SC legend, man. Sean Streets, man. What's good, man? I'm glad What's good? To be back, man. See, it's even different with the whole intro, nigga. Like, yeah. nigga, when I first started this shit, I didn't know what to say. I made this motherfucking nervous as hell, dog. Didn't think niggas were watching all that shit, dog. That's crazy. I just... I, I, I just Man, just seeing you, you know, progress and, and mm -hmm. you know, just the, the guests and stuff, you know, the interviews getting better and better. Yeah. I was just, you know what I'm saying? Watching dudes spit, you yeah. know, I mean? that shit crazy, man. Oh, for you know real. Good, 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 good stories and stuff, too, that you wouldn't, you wouldn't hear, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. uh, you know, Coco, yeah, um, yeah. um, uh, Doughboy, uh, oh, yeah, uh Drake, yeah, 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 yeah. Trey, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Like, again, I'm proud of you, bro. For sure, for sure. Like, this nigga, he, he the reason why, he, him and, uh, him and Al, the reason why I tried to rap and shit, dog, you know what I'm saying, back in the day. And shit, that nigga play away in the rap and motherfucking podcast, dog. So uh, you got a little motherfucking handprints on each one of them motherfuckers. Hey, hey, shout out, hey, shout out to Al. Look, hey, nigga Al say you, you seen the uh the, what's the, what, nigga Terrence Howard? <laughs> yeah, his new nigga, shit. Yeah, nigga on Joe Rogan talking about yeah. uh, this quantum physics shit. For sure. But they say, this nigga Al say, man, I wish we was uh paying attention to motherfucking physics instead of trying to write bars. For sure, for sure. We was that motherfucker. Only thing he was doing just like I said, we said that shit on the last episode. Niggas was uh just rapping, passing out notebooks and shit. And I'm just reading them bitch like, damn, I wish I could rap. Fuck, man, in fact, I wanted to steal some of y'all niggas shit, dog. Just close my damn self. We had Keisha, shout out to Keisha and shit, dog. Keisha, Keisha got us through. Got, my nigga, got us to see. My nigga Quince and shit, dog. Like, you, you talk to them niggas like Quince? I ain't seen Quince, heard from him. I don't know. Niggas just be, I hope he shit in good health. I ain't <laughs> seen enough social media, nothing. No. I don't know where he at locked up. I don't know what's going on with it. <laughs> I hope he good. What would you say? Like, all right, because I was usually gonna start off like this and shit, but. Give me your rap comparisons for like you. Who would you compare yourself to back in high school? Who would you compare Quince to? And who would you compare Al to, Doug? Mm. I don't know. I used to, you know, I always used to try to just get niggas bars. Yeah. Get niggas say some shit. Be like, damn, oh, you hear what he said? Like, mm -hmm. some shit like that. That, that rewind factor. Mm -hmm. Some punches, you know what I'm saying? Niggas who I, 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 inspired me, of course, was Kiss. Kiss, yeah. was, Kiss was always my favorite. Hell my yeah. favorite rapper, Fab. Yeah. Uh, you know, and then uh, but my voice like you don't sometimes you don't hear yourself. Yeah, niggas used to tell me like vocally mm -hmm. when I rap I sound like Jim. Yeah, yeah. I didn't rap like Jim, but, yeah, for but, sure. but, yeah. but vocally yeah. I sound like Jim. I'm like, oh, yeah, maybe a couple songs I probably <laughs> like. Like that's kind of weird. But, yeah. But um, I don't know. Quince Quince had an unorthodox kind of style. I don't. Yeah. I can't really. I'm tough for the hate rap. He was kind of, it was kind of unorthodox. Yeah. It's like he is not like freeway, but he had come like at the last <laughs> minute and hit you with a line and be like, "Oh shit!" And it's like you thinking like you about to tail off, like oh he about to fuck up the cipher. Like, <laughs> and at the last minute, he had just like rope that shit back in. Yeah. Um. Al. Al was. Um. I don't know. Like. Can't really say who. who, who. Man, like, sometimes that nigga start. That nigga Al give you some melodies and shit. 
Nigga, some yeah. bars for show and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He he, he kind of he, he was kind of versatile everywhere with yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, energetic. For sure. Oh, that's my guy. That's it. it. Like, A1. like I said, when y'all niggas rapping, I remember y'all was rapping over that uh was that Nike instrumental, the little Nike commercial. Remember it had the little instrumental with the little basketball shit? Did we do that? I think y'all did, dog. Uh, I mean, was the first ones that took me uh, to the studio. Like yeah. the first time I recorded on Wax. Mm -hmm. Like we were going like in the grass, like right in the grass in the six mile, like harder than red zone. Yeah. Like, I mean, I know that shit was wild, man. We didn't know. We <laughs> like, we like, we going in that bitch. It's like we see cars going up and down. You know what I'm saying? But they they, they was the first ones that um, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, y'all, y'all putting shit on wax. <laughs> <laughs> like on wax, like I'm, I'm on there. Like y'all yeah. yeah, niggas halfway there. Like for sure. I'm just filling up my fucking notepad. Shit, the, I remember, nigga. I remember the first song, nigga. When you was like, "Oh yeah, that shit kind of straight." I had rap. The nigga Red Jacket went to jail. I had rapped on that. Uh, it was that Fab beat. And I had posted, dog. And nigga, and nigga, niggas like, dog, you could you could rap. Niggas like, dog. It took so many years of like studying, niggas, dog, to actually be able to learn how to write bars, bro. Yeah. I remember when you, you and somebody else said it was straight. I'm like, all right, man, I must be nice, dog, because these niggas, I think they'd tell me the truth, dog. But you know, look, like I just listen to them East Coast niggas. You know, mm -hmm. them niggas be on mixtape and just be just be rapping. They rappity rapping and gonna rap your ass and sit yeah. around. Like <laughs> I had to, I learned how to structure songs listening to Cash Money and Juvenile, Juvenile specifically, mm -hmm. for 400 degrees. That's when I learned how to like count bars and be like, damn, like when did the hook come in? Like structurally, because yeah. them niggas was all, I'm like, say, them East Coast shit, them niggas all over the place. Yeah, Sometimes they didn't even have hooks. Yeah, it's <laughs> going straight through it. Or the niggas had like, you know, uh, 24 bars. And one, and then verse, one, one hook and yeah. then another 24. That's the end of the song. I'm like, damn, that's still kind of up to 48. Yeah. Like, to, 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 uh, you know, long 16, long 16, you know what I'm saying? 316. I'm like, yeah, just long as hell. Like, mm -hmm. but yeah, Juvenile. That uh, down south music, they the one. Oh, uh, see, I ain't know that shit. That shit, that's that's what help you structure songs and shit. Yeah, like it, I was cash money was everything. Yeah, no, was for that, sure. They was they was everything. Like going to catching the bus, the Mac bus to uh, you know, to Eastland. Yeah, yeah. Like when Juvenile came out, remember you used to open up the the book and you see all like the old shit that yep. they had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, shit, and the shit that's coming out. That shit was like a fucking treasure hunt. Like yeah. niggas used to go for real. Like go to go to uh, what's the shit? Uh, used to be at uh, Eastland. Uh. Not Radio Shack, but oh, uh, uh, um, I know Sam Goody or some shit like that, or FYE. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit that was outside, right? No, it was it was in there. It was like a record store. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was, it was Sam Goody. Or, or and then FYE too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. FYE. Because right when you walk in there, right next to the little toy shit, the little food court and all that junk. Yeah, the so, first one. Yeah. So you know, yeah, like when he came up to us, mm -hmm. or when when we became aware of like juveniles and started mm -hmm. four hundred degrees, but you, you see all the old stuff. It's all on BG. It's all on you. Yeah, all on soldier you. rags. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah true, true story. True stories yeah. and shit. Yeah. So big, all the big timers. Uh, so we using that bitch, looking like trying to find like that. What the old shit is. Yeah. <laughs> That shit was used to be fun. And that's a fact. I think everybody who got hip to cash money was 400 degrees. Yeah. Because what got the deal when they got yeah, the 30 million. Yeah. But then, like you said, you go back to my uncle, man, my uncle Tom had all them shit. Because I'm thinking 400 was his first album, but it was really his second album. Right. He had, that, he had Soldier Razz, and before so, yeah. that, he had the shit when he in the bathtub full of money. I forgot about that one. Yeah, yeah, that's before. Like, that and then I remember Cash Money had UNLV with them niggas and shit, though. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? And like we said, I think we mentioned this the first time we talked. I felt like, nigga, they. When they motherfucking got to Turk, nigga, it was like Tubi shit, though. Like, them niggas had Netflix beats, nigga. <laughs> they got to Turk, nigga. Man, and Turk, Turk was my dude. Like, I was always, I was rooting for Turk. Me too. You know what I'm saying? But it seemed, yeah, it seemed like they was falling apart yeah. and shit. Like, I looked on, as soon as I grabbed, I went I went to this. Matter of fact, uh, I think Turk and, I don't know if they came out the, around the same time, but I, I went to the, the record store. I don't know if you remember Pearls right yeah, there. Hell yeah, Pearls for sure. Pearls for sure, yeah. yeah. Hell yeah, right there by on Fisher. No, that was Kurt, Kurt Trevill and like Parker. Yeah, 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 Parker, like, Parker, right, not right Fisher, Parker. Yep, 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 right, yep. Go up there, whatever. I, I go get, I go grab Kiss, Kiss the yeah. Gang goodbye. Got them pearls and uh and and, and Young and Thuggin. Yeah, man, I look at the track list, man. They got Mac Ten. Shout out to Mac Ten. Not saying like that, but it was nobody. It wasn't, like, it wasn't. It wasn't the classic cash money shit. Yeah. They, they kept everything in house. They was. It's like they was experimenting on that nigga album. Yeah, they I think, was. I think they had like a uh, Boo and Gotti on yeah. there. Yeah, that's when cash money fell a hard time. Black and Stone, all these yeah. Nicky and all these other like. Off who was the singing nigga who ain't got TQ? Remember TQ? he was on there. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, that's why Lil man. Wayne. He say it was for it was for Lil Wayne. Dog cash money would been over because at that run, you know, everybody had left except for Wayne. You know, saying so even Manny had left and shit. That's a that's no. a fact. Do you feel like Manny? Would have been a bigger producer if he got to venture off away from Cash Money because he was just stuck with Cash Money for so long until the whole shit. 
if 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 Manny would have been a bigger producer, I mean, I yeah, I think yeah, working with like because uh, you see what he did when he started working with like Ti, yeah, beat, Jeezy, uh, Jeezy, uh, uh, you know, people like that. So I think yeah, just do, they kept everything in house for so long they didn't get no like I think Nori was the first one I said I heard them on a feature. Uh, on I think I've, uh, well, uh, I forgot I think it was whatever song well uh, whatever he came out in 1998 yeah and then um I remember that that Biggie album that Born Again oh yeah yep 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 that shit was hard yeah, yeah, yeah that, that was my last good Christmas though that, <laughs> I got the drink heads, I got that Biggie album yeah <laughs> so I, but to answer your question yeah I I think he would have I mean he he would have been bigger because when mm-hmm. like in it. When he when he did the verses with uh Scott Storch, yeah, yeah, and, and niggas got and, it was, and you could see how like the lopsided it was yeah. because he had those hits, yeah, versus. and then Scott Storch had niggas who was like he was doing collabor co- collaboratory shit, yeah, main first was just, it was a main first beat, nigga, that was it. You had Scott Storch had you know saying Dr. Dre, he had niggas you know saying it was right. helping him on the beats, so I didn't think that was a fair like who, I didn't think it was a fair battle, nah, I think main first went and get somebody else that was like you know saying on some hood shit, yeah, because that main first got some classic beats, but it just. Compared it, to yeah, at the end of the day, he pretty much a a down south producer. Yeah. He wasn't like a, a you know like you said he didn't have that rapport with us. Yeah. All right, two two part question when it comes to that versus. What was the what would you think was the best versus battle, and what's the versus battle you wanted to see that didn't happen? I mean, Dipset, D, uh, Dipset, D Block, hands down, <laughs> Locks or or Locks, you know, uh, Dipset, yeah, for, 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 for sure. And I think that's like, and I think that's they what they just did with versus is the same thing. You know Kendrick and and Drake just did, and mm-hmm. I don't know if we probably gonna get into that. Yeah. But I think that's what they did. They set the bar so high yeah. that any battles after that is gonna is gonna fail in comparison. For sure. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But um, what what I what, what battle that I wanted to see that I didn't get to see? Yeah. If they had some, I would probably I I'll, I'll give you probably two. All right. Um, if they had some type of way to have some type of representation of, of Biggie and Pop. Yeah, 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 for sure. Like, you know, if I don't know if they had the Outlaws up there or yeah. something like that and Junior Mafia yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, repping for them or, or something like that or repping for Big. Mm. Um, maybe that would have been dope if they, you know, piece it up and do something like that. Mm. Uh, I say, I want to see, I, well, I'm going to give you another one, a female. I would probably want to see Nikki mm. and Kim or yeah. I would want to see Nikki and Missy. Okay. Okay. I think that because yeah. I think be yeah, I think uh, Nikki and Missy because they got different type of you know not just rap you know they get yeah. R&B they shit yeah like versatile or whatever. And then um, that Nikki and Kim with the, with nigga the internet were crazy on that shit. <laughs> and then I I would probably I, I got a I got a couple dream kind of dream battles I'll probably say uh Wayne we definitely have to put Wayne in there yeah. I'll probably either say Wayne I'd say Wayne and Jay. Yeah, I'll probably say it. I'll say Wayne. And yeah, Jay. You can't do nothing under under Jay. Like that's the only thing. He, that's the only person. Yeah. He... I, Cause I I don't think I don't think him and Nas is a good for verses. Yeah, because nah. I think like yeah, like as far as hits and whatever. So yeah. I don't think Nas and Jay doing a verses. I don't think they match up like that. Mm-hmm. So I, I either or or I like to see, I see Drake versus Wayne. I think that'd be dope. Yeah, that'd be dope. I want to see No Limit versus Cash Money. I don't think I don't think you wanna, I don't think you want to see that. I don't think you want to see that. <laughs> just for New Orleans and shit, look. It'll be, like, it, yeah, it'll be a blowout. It'll be hot, but yeah, they washing them. Bro. Like that's like a three zero smack battle, like <laughs> like cash money and wash them niggas, bro. But it's like you can sell songs, you nigga. You know what I'm saying? That would did some shit, but yeah, they would have got destroyed. And then you talking about like age, like all right, okay, best to be versus baby, nigga. Two wag niggas who. Who's some CEOs? You say who? Baby versus baby. Versus baby. Hey, for real, <laughs> Yo, it, it, Birdman. That's wack as he is, but he got records. Like, like records for the show. He can do a versus against a lot of niggas. Yeah. White as no, kept, for yeah. real. Like he put them DJ Khaled. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Songs. He got a hundred million dollars, and yeah. and yeah. like you said, we're gonna be all right. We put Drake on every hook, and the, all yeah. them songs he did with Lil Wayne, yeah, Neck yeah. of the Woods, yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that. It's gonna be hard. Pop champagne. I hated to see. Fab and um Fab just didn't pick the right songs when he went against kids. He, he didn't. He didn't. He picked the wrong songs, dog. It, it, it was bad. And, and and that's what they said. Like versus is is not about when you, you people are online debating like, oh yeah, get them, you get them. It ain't about that. It's about picking the right songs and, mm-hmm. and when to play them. When the counter is almost yeah. like a boxing type of thing, because you played something you think that's 
you or you, you know what I'm saying, that you think that's your haymaker and they yeah. might they might come with another haymaker yeah, and now sure. it's over. Now that you you thought you counted that as a round for <laughs> yeah, you, it's, it's over. Like Yeah, duh. Duh. But we also go we also gotta get some whack shit too. Like now I ain't gonna say whack rappers, but like the B side, like the C side. Like you know what I'm saying, Rich Boy versus Motherfucker. Ten rounds, no, we got to ten, ten five rounds <laughs> though, yeah. Like a little undercard or yeah, something. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. Like you got, you know what I'm saying, Joe Button versus somebody, motherfucker, uh uh. Yeah, just like Boosie versus somebody like Boosie and Webby or something like that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Another one I, I didn't match up, I didn't like was I didn't like the uh, two chains versus Ross. Oh no, hell no, hell no. I think hell that no. was a terrible match. If it was gonna be Ross, it should have been Ross versus T.I. or Ross versus Jeezy. Yeah, I, I would I would agree. Yeah, one and, and two. And I, and I think T.I. I think T.I. and Jeezy should have been you know, musically it yeah. started I understand the him uh Jeezy versus Gucci, Gucci versus the, Gucci. Watch the beef and shit. Watch the beef in the street aspect, but musically mm. Like Jeezy put Bill Dad. <laughs> Hell yeah, for <laughs> like, sure. Like, like it wasn't it, even close. Gucci like, could have battled two chains. Yeah, that probably that, would have been probably, better. That would have probably yeah, probably got, more his his love. You know what I'm saying? Two chains got his, but nigga, when you put Rick Ross, Rick Ross got so many songs he can do actually do another one with twenty different songs. That's that's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Because that nigga say what you want to about that nigga. Ross got some. Ross got a lot of classes. Like he ain't got too many albums that you can say was just trash. And, and, yeah, he. I think Ross got a top five catalog. Yeah, like like catalog wise. Like, yeah, I like agree. All time. Like I think he got probably one of the best catalogs. Yeah. Who was the nigga that you look back on and be like the cat? The catalog really ain't as good as I thought it was. I will go first, bro. It, it hurts. This is my nigga, dog. But it, I don't think the music. The music aged well. Rick Ross music aged well. T.I. catalog ain't as good as I thought it was. You say T.I. Like, catalog. Like, as a buyer, work each album. Uh, nah, I'll say, like, okay, like, if you, you if you play trap trap music mm -hmm. uh, it, and ur Urban Legend, keep urban like Legend. Urban Legend. Urban, yeah. urban Legend not, is, a, is a classic. It's but, the best album to yeah, me. Yeah, like, I don't like T.I. versus T.I.P. I he tailed off a bit for yeah. me. King is okay, but he kind of went commercial a little bit on King with yeah, the, with the yeah, Jimmy Fox shit on there. I I see where he was going. Like he was he was transitioning to being you know movie star and stuff like that. And then that. he wasn't trying to go back to jail, so he really couldn't make them tough songs and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like, uh, what, what was one um, Paper Trail? Paper Trail. Yeah. Did, did you did you? you, you it was up? okay. It was okay. Yeah. He had some like I'm Illy. That that song was hard. Like yeah, the Fifty Six Bars wasn't something. Like, Oh, and then I don't know which I don't know which album was that if it was King or not, but a song like you said that didn't age well, and I and I never it never aged from the get for me. I said swag like us. You already know. It wasn't it. It wasn't you know, it. I knew swag like us was whack when my big brother liked it because that nigga like no, <laughs> he don't like good music like, like <laughs> for a rap. That nigga was banging it, that shit like it, it wasn't it, 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 like if you go back and listen to it, it it, it wasn't it. Like, like it just like the names that they had on there. Like see, I got some good like hits. He can go. You know, saying hit for hit in the, in the verses about, but I'm thinking like collection, like Ross, his first album could still get played right now and still sound good. Like some of them albums he got, it don't sound good today. This is on production side, but Rick Ross is a genius when it comes to production anyway. Yeah, but Ti still, he still got like like I say, it, it ain't his. I guess like his. I see what you're saying. Like the shit that he did that put him up there, mm -hmm. and then it, it kind of tailed off. But that just comes from just being great. Like it's just you, once you start being compared to yourself, mm -hmm. then that's when you reach another level. Yeah, like yeah, you, yeah. if you know, saying so you drop a, a album, they'd be like, "Oh, his album versus his album. Like who's better?" Mm -hmm. But like Fifty Cent, every time thing he dropped it was always compared to Get Ready. Yeah, yeah, that was fair. Saying, so what? <laughs> because he reached so a higher you know, know, level. That second album wasn't bad, bro. Uh, was it the, the, mas the mask, the mask was, mask had mask some was shit. fire. The mask was fire, yeah. but it, it, it wasn't. It wasn't get rich. It wasn't though. That shit hard. Rich, that shit hard. I, you can kind of say if Jeezy had had some albums, but that first album was just so hard. But I think when he dropped what's the name, what album was that? When uh, my president is black on there. Recession. That's my yeah. favorite Jeezy album. Yeah, that shit. When he, he came back around, like all right, because that second one kind of like fell off a little bit from the first one. But yeah. when he came out with that. It got right back circulating, you know what I'm saying? Because it was just yeah. as good as the first one. He was, he was, yeah. He had a uh, that that album right there. I think that album was fire. That yeah. that was around the time yeah. you know I used to randomly bump into you down at uh, oh yeah, good Plan B, <laughs> Plan B days and shit. Duh, we was down there. I didn't know it was a steakhouse across the street from Plan B. I instantly started just seeing the line and shit. Duh, just, that's it. Them club days, niggas. These young niggas don't got what we had. Like I think every generation say that shit though, but it's just. Everything different, bro. I think we the last generation that really was outside. Like these yeah. niggas now with social media, they ain't outside like fucking around. Yeah. Like we had to even if you on your rap shit, 
just fucking with hoes, whatever. You had to be outside in the mix just to right. pop off. Now you can pop off on social media and niggas never see you. Facts. You know what I'm saying? That's facts. <laughs> definitely. Oh, yeah. But Plan B definitely. I remember the, the one moment I remember about Plan B was uh when uh, Tonton had a music video in that bitch. And he wanted everybody wear a white tee in that motherfucker. That was, uh, yeah, I, was in, I was in there that day. Mm-hmm. That was, um, what was that? Um, when he had the sample, when yeah, he, he yeah, had the, yeah, all the club, the, all the club, the yeah, all the club, yeah, rocking yeah. or some shit, yeah. hell yeah, dog, yeah, the goddamn tone tone, man. But keep it on that, like I talked about this with a few people, but we didn't elaborate. How you feel like when rap had went from the nineties into the two thousands? Like it was a weird little time because when I think about early two thousand music, I think about like Rich Boy, I think about like Boosie, I think about the Franchise Boys. I just think about weird music, bro. It was like it was weird because you came from like Kiss, you came from Big, you came from Nas, Early J, Pop, and then you coming over to like this this weird shit, like you know what I'm saying? Um, I got a I got a few theories. Of how, oh, are you saying like why did it go to like, that or not why? But like what, what? Yeah, what was the cause like or like for it to like kind of like rap to find his identity like after a couple of years? Because like you had early niggas who was blowing up. And then they had like one hit wonders, a lot of one hit wonders, a lot of albums. It was one albums, and then it was I think, over. I think that um, they was what it is now is like they was like the early stages of. It. They didn't know exactly. It's like they was going in the direction, but they didn't know where exactly where it was going. If that yeah. makes sense, like yeah. ringtone rap was was the was the thing. Like they were selling ringtones. That was kind of like almost like the Fair. first stream or like. TikTok, it really, was. you know what I'm saying? Uh, microwave music. Mm-hmm. You know, so it, I think it came from that. Once they people saying that they can, you know, Lil Flip made all that money off the ringtone oh, or whatever. Yeah, and then crazy. had to give it back because he didn't clear the sample with the fucking Pac Man. <laughs> <laughs> on that flip song? Yeah. yeah. That was, yeah, that was crazy. But I think it's, I think it started from that. Like you say, it was a lot of one hit wonders like, like, Jay like, Jaquan like Mims. Mims, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, people like my nigga, that. My nigga, Baby Boy the Prince, dog. <laughs> Oh. This is the way we yeah. live. Oh, yeah. And then, and then, um, another another thing is, I, I think you gotta think like Jay, Jay, Jay retired. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, Nas really wasn't really Nas good. after the after the Jay Z battle. Like Nas, kind of he was doing like the. The the end uh with the end album yeah uh, and then he had the untitled yeah, uh, yeah, that was a that was, that was a terrible album and then he did the the, the, the shit with the with the uh the Bob Marley book oh, yeah. or some shit like that yeah, like <laughs> so it's like damn like you you just you just killed all the momentum Jay had mm-hmm. and then you basically he ran into retirement then yeah. you doing this other shit mm-hmm. and then now we got you know fifty and yeah. I think that's when I think it started changing over and like we started getting our shit was when the mixtape era is what say rap to me. Oh yeah, that was, and that's another thing too. Right, like glad you said that. Mm-hmm. Around that time is when the feds had that shut all that yeah, that mixtape yeah, shit sure. down too. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. that street music that we used to get and people dropping them, you know, what I'm saying yeah. dropping bars and shit like that. All that shit start they shit got railroaded. Yeah, yeah. So now, that, that music was age, <laughs> that music definitely aged bad, bro. Like. Oh yeah, like, remember, remember the uh, looking boy and shit like yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> what that nigga young job? Like dog, you had a song about roasting nigga. That- <laughs> Young Jock and that motherfucker, um, uh, uh, um, what's that went crazy in doing that era, dog? Lil John, the East Side Boys. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For a crunk. Yeah, and crunk music. Like you say, they, like, at that time, the, uh, the, uh, what's, what's that, the, uh, the Apple shit became like iTunes. Oh, yeah, so the first of all, uh, Beast Music. Was, yeah. Then went to, it, well, Apple bought that shit. Yeah, but then, no, but like, when it was, they was able to sell the songs for, oh, yeah. for one for ninety nine cents yeah. instead of you know what I mean. Yeah, man. So now it's like it's microwave shit. Mm-hmm. What, was the, what was the little device that they can't? They stop making uh, uh, iPod, uh, the iPod, iPod. Yeah, yeah like yeah, I, the, I, iPod, <laughs> MP, MP3 players, all that sure. shit like that. So I think yeah. all that shit has, has something to do with that. Shit. Yeah, but like for a nice little stretch. Yeah, like I said, music was just weird, bro. Like music was weird as hell. And then like I said, I think once like what was it oh five oh six? You you had like Wayne, you had Jeezy. Uh, the game fifty. They start coming and shit. You still had some little weird shit going on. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying. But it didn't start like turning over until like as of like probably like 2010, 2011, You start getting like all right. When you get yeah, with a new wave. When you got yeah. um, pretty much you no know, Nip with mm-hmm. Wale, Kendrick, yeah, Drake, yeah, Big Crit, Big, Big Sean, Crit, yeah, yeah, you know, Mac Miller. Yeah, that's when it started. Like all right, it's back. It's, it's getting right. Like you always gonna have your trash rap. But it was like too many trash rappers that was blowing up back then. I think the only people that kind of like benefited from that era and they was dope to me was the whole Houston era. Except for Chameleon yeah. there. His album was trash. 
I mean, it, yeah, I, you know, I, I was, I was rooting for, I was rooting for uh, Slim Thug. Yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. That, that was by. Uh, See, my nigga was, he had the best album though, Paul Wall. People's Paul champ. Wall. Yeah, Paul Wall. <laughs> that nigga was going, like, you know, keep Paul Wall. Everything that nigga rapped on was like, <laughs> he was eating that shit up, dog. But uh, on uh, Drive Slow. Oh, nigga. But he, uh, yeah, he, he, he was crazy on that. Yeah, yeah, man. Hell yeah. Now, last time we had talk, bro, it was like, nigga, Detroit wasn't popping off like this. Detroit going crazy. And we, had, right we both had doubts as far as like, because I remember I asked you a question saying like, do you feel like Detroit could ever go mainstream? And we both had doubts, nigga. I was talking about T Grizzly, you was talking about Vezo and shit, even though both of them niggas still in, yeah. in, 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 in the mix of things. But now you got nigga Skiller Baby, it went crazy. Um, uh, Baby Money. Baby Money. That's why I, I, I fuck with Baby Money. Yeah. That's who who was the uh, other nigga? Not Skiller. Um, V's. Ba- Babyface Ray. Babyface V's, Ray. V's, like, yeah. Like, nigga, it went crazy. So I asked you, like, how do you feel about it? And you kind of mad, like, nigga, I wish this wave and shit was going on when I was in the mix and shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm happy for I'm happy to see them niggas and then like but man it be, it be niggas be niggas be hitting me up from like Ohio and shit and mm-hmm. places or whatever like asking me about buffs and shit like that <laughs> like like you know concierge and shit like that or like I'm like yo where to go and you know yeah. I'm like you know go to Hutchinson you know yeah, yeah, like, for sure. um. The dead dog came over, like, you know, so my nigga came up here, uh, I got down Ohio shit, you know. Yeah. He came in, he came back and got his lens switched out and shit like that. Like, yeah. I'm like, that, like, you, you, you were trying to morph into for one. Sure. No, for sure. See Dog Ice from, uh, from Joe Budden podcast yeah, yeah, and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But he had to let them niggas know, because he had to let them know, like, hey, that's what, that's the Detroit thing, because it's tomorrow. It was something else. He was like, no, that's a Detroit thing. Yeah, like, yeah. Everybody know that shit, everybody, though. Everybody, everybody know that for sure. Yeah, but... But uh, as far as like yeah the city like seeing all of them uh them niggas that shit funny uh, that shit uh it's, it's funny to see that not not funny but it's it's, it's good to see that like yeah. just seeing them on national stages and shit just seeing Vez on the Breakfast Club seeing yeah, yeah. seeing Skiller Baby uh with with Angela Yee on her yeah, talk yeah. show and shit and collaborating with with national artists and and shit like that Future mm-hmm. Dirks and you know what I'm saying getting yeah. get, getting that respect so like the city on fire and I just just from just seen like everything from music that we just had to draft yeah, yeah. lions popping like nigga, we own Tubi and shit nigga <laughs> <laughs> cuz like no one thing my wife has said bro when you watch Tubi movies and you watch it from outside Detroit you be like nigga fuck this well it be like the Detroit shit just be like nigga that should be hard nigga the rest of that shit we watched the one from Atlanta like, this shit weird. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't it. it. Ain't like, I, maybe because we live here. It but it's like, nigga, them Detroit movies be way better than them other motherfuckers, dog. Because for the longest, I thought Tubi was for us, nigga. I didn't know it was even... Mm-hmm. I didn't know other niggas from different states was doing them. It's just like... Duh. We fucked that shit over, dog. But uh, with you, man, you know what I'm saying? I was, I was a little upset, dog. Last time you was on the show, to, man. Talk to me. You said you were dropping a, dropping a project, bro. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. Do you feel like... You, I, I ain't gonna say I know it. I ain't gonna say do you feel like you can still make music. I know you can do it, nigga. You never lose. It's like riding a bike. You get that motherfucker. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's just like the old days. Do you still count to play on putting some music out, bro? Because we this day you're not too old to put out no music. No, bro. no, you know, and you only as old as you feel. I yeah. get, and you know, shit. Unless we, you know, disclose. You know what I'm saying? Our age or whatever. Mm-hmm. I still look younger than what I am. I feel younger. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can still, I can still go. It, it's just like the game. The game has changed so much. Yeah. Not only from the like the from the business part, like from the streams and stuff like that, and playing them numbers games and stuff like that. And mm-hmm. you know, um, it ain't just it ain't just rap and go to store. I mean, go to the studio and go perform, hit the streets, and for sure, yeah, you know, it's way more to it's, it. It's way more to it. Uh, you know, basically, you you outside, outside, and you have outside and on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And click here and this thing here and. Mm-hmm. Go live here and stuff like that, and and it'd be other shit that we uh I, you know like even I told you I was you know selling you know selling my merch or whatever, mm-hmm. and then I was I was seeing more return quicker off merch, and no, then, then sure. I was saying no, just off, off the, the music. off the movement that yeah. I was that I was doing off the music, and I was doing the music, and music was just always for the love, like like you said, we used to be just rapping, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, but it's just that um. That investment that keep on going and come back like um, I I get returns on on other on other yep. things. You've seen that money yeah. faster than I could, and that, and then not, and then like they like say the game. It, what I fell in love with it ain't it ain't that no more. It's it's a a, a variation of it, but mm-hmm. all the other shit that's incorporated. So it kind of 
don't I don't really have as much fun as doing. I love the creating process. I like writing, pick out beats, and mm. and then lay it down and say, "Oh shit!" Like that shit came out like that. Just yeah. creating, but the other shit that come along with it. That's sure. that's the shit that I, I really ain't. When last time you had that itch to go and record some shit, man. <laughs> I went to the, like my dude, like and so that's the thing though too. Like my shout out my 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 my, my guy Ray. Yeah, he hit me up like. He was he he bumped into like our old producer. I mean, uh, like our old engineer and shit. Like, yeah. we're, we're like back in the street mob days. Like, we ain't seen dog in like fifteen years. He, yeah. he just FaceTime me out the blue. Like, like look what I got with me. Like, we about to get the studio. He, he got he just got a, he just got a, a studio. Yeah, I'm like shit. Well, yeah, I'm about, I'm about to pull up and sure. he pulled up and shit. Well, first night we just he's like saying seen him in fifteen years. So we spent the whole night just catching up and you know what I'm saying bonding and shit. You yeah. know, the building. And then went back and then and just and laid some or whatever. Mm-hmm. But you know, I still I I got records in the in the uh yeah. in, in the cut. Shout yeah. my my shout my my dude Jovi. Yeah. You know, he always be saying like, man, you know, put that shit out because he he still he still be doing his shit or yeah. whatever. You know, still be getting nominated for awards and shit, winning awards and shit like up, up here in the city. Mm-hmm. So you know, um, like I said, I got I got I still got uh, I still got shit that's that's in the cut that. If you heard it, you would think I recorded it yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, but... hell yeah, dog. Cause dog, like I say, this nigga, y'all used to be going, dog. Like, and then you be thinking, like, sometimes. I mean, I guess it just depends on the time, dog. Cause like, it's certain niggas you be like, dog, them niggas, them niggas should have popped off. You know what I'm saying? But back then, like, I think hurt when he was on here. He was saying it was hard for niggas to pop off because it was no eyes on the city and you had yeah. social media, so it was kind of hard. Like, you had to be kind of like traveling with that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you know, and I, I remember, I remember this like around like. 2010, 11, something like that. Mm-hmm. On Twitter, I remember RJ Lamont saying on Twitter, like he he went on tour. I forgot who he was DJing for. Mm-hmm. Uh, I forgot who he was, but he was saying that the response to our music was it was too fast. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and the and the thing is, the reason why our shit was too fast is or, or our shit was up tempo is because we was we was a strip club city. Yeah, yeah. And so that's the the bit, you know, you get a record, we go to the, you go to the strip club and pop the same way they did in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. But ours because they know the DJ's going to speed that shit up so the dancers can get more dancing yeah, and sure. shit like yeah. that. So you go automatically so instead of him speeding my song up, I'm going to make the song already sped yeah, up or whatever yeah. and, and that's that's really why it was like that, but but shit crazy now. Like my like my nephew rapping and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's, it's funny. Like when I'm like, and it, I just heard this song yesterday and shit. Like my nephew, he put like my other nephew put his song on. Like yeah. KKK stacks. Shout out my nigga, uh, my nephew. Like he he was going on there. And shit. <laughs> nigga was going. So I'm like, damn. Like you know what I'm saying? But uh, I mean, I don't know. I might like I say put out a, a EP. Yeah. That's the last thing I heard though. You sent to me right after the episode was uh, you had well Barry White. The, um, this song I think it's called Barry White. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I'm like, damn, that nigga still going because you, my nigga, cheese. Shout out my nigga, cheese. My nigga, cheese said fuck rap. Yeah, <laughs> like, and then like you know, um, I'll probably, I don't know, like, you know, probably do some. I'll, I'll probably like we'll, we'll want to do something like maybe like behind the scenes or yeah. or maybe even write. I I would probably even write for somebody. Yeah. Or, or whatever, because you know that's the that's the thing too. Now you get to. You know, probably a girl or something like that. You get, no, for sure. You find a you know, nice looking girl. Yep. They, they go get them a BBL and some bars. <laughs> bars. You know, for real. That's what they no, go. They go get them a little, you know, nice, you know, pretty chick. Yep, yep. Get her the BBL. Give her the bars. Manufacturer. It's all go, good. Cause Look. you see me even once, ain't nigga. She ain't got her motherfucking titties done, teeth done, nose, Glorilla. Glorilla. I, like, I love Glow. Yeah, I, I love not, Glow. I, smile. I love Glow. Hey, I don't no, you go key. I ain't gonna lie. I'll listen to free is, is, plus, when you're free is out of my mind. I don't even know who that was on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This new glow, yeah. she glowed up for sure. I fuck her music because you know what? She sound like she uh, could have been with three, three six. six. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, like for Project production. Pat, like yeah. with chat. Yeah, you know saying gangsta boo, gangsta boo and shit though. Like, that, yeah, she definitely but came even, up with them. But even even sexy red, like man, you go. I was like, you go in the club. Now I don't want the club much, but yeah, yeah, yeah. you talk. <laughs> sexy got that shit on lock. No, I ain't sure. gonna lie. She do. She do. And the girl and the little, little joints in there, they be like back in the day, like we used to go to the club, chicks chicks bump into each other and shit. They they bought to the fight or whatever like that. Bitches bump into each other in the club. Now nah, yeah. they grabbing each other's ass. Right? 
<laughs> so, excuse me. Oh, shit. They just got twerking on each other and shit. I'm like, these little bitches out here freaky and shit. No, no. And like I said, it's different, bro. And like, you, you mentioned, dog, we, we getting older, man. It's been a long time since since graduation and shit, dog. And That's I'm okay. getting reminded that every time like, I'm looking at the prom shit. Do you remember, like, prom being like how it is for them, for us? Like, the way they doing this shit now, bro? Like, shout out to Tone. He be got the chairs for the, the, the prom shit. The pit, like, yeah. Niggas going Damn. all out for prom, though. My, like, my niece, my, my niece, uh, and nephew just. Well, I got a niece and nephew going to prom every year. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I, my niece and nephew, uh, they just went to prom this, uh, like yeah, a couple of days ago. Yeah. But yeah, like you said, like they, I no, it went, it ain't like that. Like, like how, I, yeah. like, like we, you know, they getting, they coming, G wagon, Maybach, back drops, um, they coming to every, everything. You know what I mean? So. I mean, shout out to people that are making it happen. They make, you know what I'm saying, and make them feel good. That's that's the that supposed to be stuff that's supposed to last forever. That shit, you know, them these moms and dads spending motherfucking wedding monies on prom, <laughs> nigga. Like, duh. My son told me when that shit his prom, told me I was going, yeah, we think about getting a haul. My nigga, for what? You leaving? They <laughs> <laughs> think for us? Like, because of course we gonna fuck around afterwards. You know how old niggas to get the niggas start drinking after that shit, nigga. You know how we that's do. What, yeah, that's what it's for. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like, like, like I'm getting a haul, nigga. Fuck that, nigga. Like, you know, yeah, my niece, she just had her, she uh had her send off at, at Bustle. Yeah, in, oh, fa- for real? in, the, in the family center. How <laughs> make you, nigga? Like, <laughs> man, I'm, I'm like, I'm. For real, I'm like, damn, like, I ain't been in this bitch in I don't know how long. Damn, we that's be, a... We used to be running all through here and shit, skipping through it, going hey. to the back. We only supposed to be on this side of the damn building and shit. That's, that's it, funny, dog. Yeah, that shit made me feel old, bro, because I'm looking like, you know what made me feel like it was crazy? And this, this, I guess this can attest to how great LeBron is and how he kept himself up, dog. That's crazy. This nigga LeBron, first year in the league, I was a senior in high school. This nigga LeBron still in the league, and my son about to be a senior in high school. That's crazy. <laughs> like nigga, Say. we never had nobody that we saw that was in the league from the time we was born until we graduated high school. I think he need to be tested. Duh. I think that's me personally. I, I think for sure. When he was in Miami, he was on roids for sure. Duh. I ain't even gonna hold you. I fucks with him. All respect to him, but like, we need to, we need to see them. We need to see them blood tests. Like nigga, this nigga is getting nigga average. Well, 25, like, 25. niggas still, nigga putting up, getting eight uh, rebounds, five assists. Niggas still that's averaging shit crazy. that niggas average right now in, in their 20s, dog. This that's, nigga about to be 40 next that's, year. That's, that's crazy. I, I thought he should have made all NBA second team. Yeah, yeah, for sure yeah. he could have. Yeah, but, yeah, that that is it's crazy. And he about to, they say, you see, he just, he just opted out. Yeah, you know? so you gave him another dog. But I think, I, I, me personally, I think what he doing is he trying to, um... Like, first he put out to say, like, oh, I'm going wherever Bronny going. Mm-hmm. And then he doubled back and was like, oh, me, yeah, me and Bronny, well, probably, that's what, he, well, what I want to do. That may not be what yeah, he want to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Da, 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 da. So now they came out and was like, oh, Bronny ain't no ain't no NBA prospect yeah, or whatever. So now sure. he going to opt out. And for, 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 yeah. So to get an illusion, would be like, oh, there still might be a chance that if we get Bronny, yeah. we can get LeBron here. Yeah. Yeah. Agent. Somebody go draft Bronny ass. Yeah. He go back to the <laughs> No, for sure, for sure. Because niggas right now, niggas really think if they draft Bronny, they got a chance of getting Bron. And when you look at the like, my thing is this: because I was uh, talking to my cousin about this, I'm like, dog, he gonna get drafted, nigga. And he's like, man, he's no way he can get drafted. And nigga, average four or five points in college. Some niggas' games are really tailored for the league and not college, dog. Because college ain't how it used to be. Like niggas, that, you never see nobody average like twenty points a game in college for real. Niggas be averaging. Kyrie didn't even average twenty. He barely played ten fucking games and got number one pick. Yeah, it's- Jamal Crawford played what eight games with Michigan. But you, yeah, but it's some niggas like, like it's vice versa. Like like mm-hmm. nigga like uh. Big uh, big Zach Eady. Yeah, he ain't about to be shitting. Me. No, hell no, hell no. <laughs> and then the AD wasn't. Well, AD was in, in Kentucky. He was defense. Defense, yeah. He yeah. was not scoring that bitch, putting that bitch down. Even though I know he was a point guard when he first got to high school, and he just grew and shit. But nigga, some some niggas game don't be right for college dog. It depends on the system. Like I always say, Tom Izzo, if you a point guard as a scorer, don't go to Michigan State. Like Michigan State is tailored around those big guards like uh, Denzel Valentine, uh, um, um, Draymond Green, like niggas who bigs who can handle the ball. He never had like a point guard that was a dog who get booked. It's like Trey Burks wouldn't last at Michigan State. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Michigan is for like them them guards. Michigan State is like for those big guards who can play four and guard. Yeah, I, yeah, I feel you. But, nigga, as a system team, so you can't get off. You know what I'm saying with the with, mm-hmm. with Tom Izzo. 
It's about the system. Like Kentucky, you can get off and do your shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I just think with a lot of these players, though, it just depends on where they go. I think probably be straight though. Well, uh, well, that's that's funny though. So I say, <laughs> he say yeah, like you say like he don't think Bronny good for the league. My man's and shit. Yeah. And you say, so you ask me questions. Say you you gonna get a Bronny James shirt? <laughs> That's just, oh, yeah, for sure. like you run walk, walking around with a Bronny James jersey on. Like Bronny, yeah, Bronny James jersey. Like. You think that nigga gonna get drafted or you think he gonna, like, oh, you, well, you, if you had to guess right now, second round, first round, or, or not drafted and signed in the summer? I, I think if the Lakers don't, the Lakers don't get him, mm-hmm. I think somebody would probably just take him on a flyer. Because I don't, you don't see potential or some shit. Just to see if, just to see if kick the tires on Brian, mm-hmm. keep him around or whatever. They probably yeah. keep him around for a year and be like, okay, because I think Brian goes sign back to the Lakers yeah. and then probably give him another year. And then like, okay, we we keep Brian yeah, around for it. Yeah. Any second round pick you get anyway, gonna be on the bench. Yeah, for the especially most part. if he goes to like a playoff team or yeah. something like that. So he's gonna sure. be sitting on the bench anyway. You know, you know, he ain't gonna be getting no minutes. So yeah. shit, chill around, just be on your own for a minute. You know, what I'm saying, learn how to travel, be a man without your pops yeah. being around, and learn learn the game or whatever. Yeah, and, yeah. But this was the right time for him to come because this draft class weak as fuck. Yeah, like, I heard one nigga who like nigga this like the draft. Remember, uh, Anthony Bitty got drafted number one. <laughs> that nigga had about three good years and then only the number one pick who didn't get a second round. It's trash. <laughs> it was ass. Right. Cleveland waste that pick, dog. Like I forgot who That's I gotta true. go back and see who was in that class. I know we definitely fucked up on a lot of picks, dog. Like yeah. the one pick that stand out to me that we fucked up on, and I was right there because my, my brother had an AU game at basketball at Joe Dumars on, on, on the east side. And we had the number number nine pick. And we could have got Kimber Walker. No, we had number eight pick. Could have got Kimber. We got Brandon, Brandon Knight. Knight. Brandon Knight. And pick right after. Now, I'm in that bitch hype. I'm like, give me a Kimber jersey, nigga, because he just did what he did with UConn. Nigga, they going to get Brandon Knight. I'll and, say that. Uh, I'm like, these bum ass niggas, dog. I ain't like Brandon Knight game, even when he's at Kentucky. And I used to, I, I, so you used to fuck with Kentucky way back from Antoine Walker and Tony Delk. For sure. Now, you know what I'm saying? Now, I heard now, Tony like, Delk nigga. Yeah. So long, like, I used to always fuck with Kentucky. I'm like, <laughs> Brevin Knight. Yeah. I mean, Brandon Knight. Yeah. Brandon Knight. Yeah. Brandon Knight. Brandon Knight. Brandon Knight. Brandon Knight. Yeah. Brandon Knight was the uh, dark skin yeah, nigga yeah, who dark, was, <laughs> with Cleveland. Cavs, yeah. yeah. But I'm like, nah, he ain't it. And yeah. then Kyrie had him on skates. We were out. Oh, yeah. All-star yeah. Up yeah. in the rookie game. Hell yeah. But no, uh, that's how I know. Like, right now, that we, we talking about this shit that's aging us and shit, though. Like, looking at the, at the niggas that's in the league now. And looking like how niggas like KD, like even though KD, a little, them niggas a little bit younger than us, but KD, Bron, Steph, like these niggas not in the playoffs right now, bro. Like, yeah, that's what I said. Like, it's it's a new NBA. Like, the oldest nigga right now is Kyrie. Yeah, Ky- Kyrie, and then you know he in, he at number two now. Yeah, and yeah. I think that, and then it's quiet as kept, like I say, like that's really Devin Booker team. Like, like Kevin, yeah, oh they, yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Kevin Durant, he Kevin Durant, but that's, yeah. that's Devin Booker. Kevin team. Durant, his mistake, he shouldn't have left Golden State, bro. He shouldn't, he shouldn't. He shouldn't have left. He, yeah. he, de- he definitely shouldn't have left. I think if he would have stayed, remember like all the hate when LeBron when they, they, they formed it all. Oh, you got a super team, mm-hmm. but after a while, like that shit kind of died down or whatever. Yeah. Like, then nobody really cared about it. Like eventually, if you keep winning, winning cures everything. Yeah. Like winning, he made people forget Ben Roethlisberger was a rapist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga won, a, that nigga won a Super Bowl and got married. They, they kind of forgot all about yeah, that. Yeah, they did. Ben rapist. Yeah, nigga. Freaky ass nigga. That was your favorite quarterback, nigga. <laughs> no. Yeah, but when you win, they 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 forget about that shit. So if he if you if you you can't deny if you if he eventually wind up winning four rings and four Finals MVP. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Three rings, three Finals MVPs. Now, yeah. like you can't you you he undeniable at that point. Yeah, because you know, and then like when he went to go to state, teams was gearing up for them, so niggas was building their own teams. I, at one point, Houston was trying to match up with them. They got yeah. CP, then they got Russ and shit. You had other teams that were building up just to you know what I'm saying compete with them and shit. You had a young Boston team that was some killers with you know Kyrie, Tatum, and Brown yeah. and shit like that. Like you had niggas trying to match that shit. So if he would have stayed, them niggas for sure would have got two more dog. Easily, you know what I'm saying? Cause shit, they won that one without him. Like nigga, they would have been straight up. Yeah, easy. Like, and I and I don't get his reasons because he say you left OKC. Mm-hmm. Now I would say like you should have did like Brian. You should have been throwing your weight around that mm-hmm. bitch mm-hmm. and say like, all right, if it's Ru- if it's Russ that like, or if these other people around, you got to go to them. And say man, get get these things up out of here yeah. before I'm gone. Yeah, for sure. And it's just been like, oh, oh, oh I want to. Now I get what you say. What they played the right way. What mm-hmm. you did, you was able to be you and. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But. Oh, who you think going to be a new face of the league, bro? Like, when y'all. Because the nigga who. 
niggas forget like is 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 a what are you doing right now type of league. It's yeah. what are you doing right now for anything. My niggas forget that what's ain't still in the league, dog. John Morant. That nigga will come back with some shit next year, dog. Uh, yeah, he, yeah. But I, my always thing about Jai is, I, I mean, aside from all the off the court right, shit, bullshit, yeah. was um his um erratic play. Yeah, I just kind of be like, I just I hope he don't have a Derrick Rose type of situation. Like, he like a Derrick Rose. Yeah, Russell, 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 yeah. Russell Westbrook type, he kind of wild sometimes and shit, dreads flying everywhere and shit. Yeah. But yeah, he gonna come, he gonna come back and get buckets. But he still, he still got some fine tuning, like the kind of like picking his spots and shit like that. His, his jumper, maybe taking the, you know, what I'm saying mid range yeah. like that. But face, face of the NBA, I think is up, is up for grabs. But yeah. if you're gonna be as far as like a face, and you, and you bring it to like the market and stuff like that, obviously, like like kind of like with baseball, the English people, the people who speak English good, even though the Europeans kind of run the league or no, top are. players, yeah. but like the Americans, like. I mean, if it's Tatum, if they Tatum wins, you got to say it's Tatum yeah. at that point. Like yeah. no, but, Boston, big deuce. You know, he always got his kid. You know, it's like you don't even see yeah. his baby mama or like like you LMA and shit. And be, yeah. be a little deuce, like 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 nigga Father's Day coming around and shit. And they yeah. about to be on to in the finals and shit. Big no, for little sure. deuce gonna be a good. No, but what's name? Even though I don't. It's hard for me not to like him though, but that nigga is a motherfucking beast, dog. Man. Nigga Luca, dog. Oh Luca, that nigga. Dog. I, I like I like Luca, nigga, and he played like like I will say it, that nigga play like a like a like a like a brother, like a black dude. When he had and that, he talk shit, yeah, he talked he talked too much shit, bro. He had what's name go burn on skates, nigga. Like when I saw the switch, like oh, it's a rap, dog. I was that, like, what, what and that nigga mean? move, he remind me of a bigger James Harden. Yeah, that's Just, yeah, he is like kind of like the same the same play, and then. He he finally like learned how to play with talent because he always been the best player since he has been a teenager. Mm. And then like when he had he had Brunson there and Brunson had to leave to to be who he is yeah, now for sure. So it's like he dominated the ball and and but now he's he's starting to learn how like LeBron knew when to get that bitch to Kyrie yeah. and let him cook. Yeah, and now yeah. Luca learning how to let Kyrie cook and shit too. Yeah, but yeah, yeah he talk yeah he he talking shit though. But I yeah. Dallas and and and, and Boston that yeah. that's gonna be it. No, that's gonna be a matchup like a motherfucker. You know, I, I fuck with Ant Man, but I just don't. Carl Anthony Towns and Goldberg, them niggas just them niggas man, especially Carl Anthony Towns because you probably be a scorer, bro. One man you will have thirty, next man you have thirteen. Now let me let me tell you about Cat. Now this is this is an article you could you could do it whenever you, you get time. If you search to say uh it was a year a couple years back mm. when he was in like when he first got to the league, they had it like they do the GM survey. Yeah. Who you want to start your franchise oh, with? I remember that shit. He was I remember yeah, that Cat, shit. Cat was the nigga they yeah. started their franchise yeah. with. Yeah, yeah, that nigga man, he be pissed me but off. But I got this theory, and especially if you you do your betting. You always go on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Go check Jordan Woods' page. Yeah. If she uploads some shit, bro, <laughs> do not fuck with that nigga, bro. If she try, if she uploaded some shit within like a day or two, yeah. especially if she looking sexy as hell and shit like yeah. that, or that nigga, that nigga, if she posted shit like, oh, after they won, like, oh, it's our, our, our it's anniversary. Our anniversary. They had a little montage video and shit. Yeah. His head ain't in the game. Bro. It came and sold, it, sold everybody took it the next game. Don't fuck with that nigga. All hunters. <laughs> nigga, no, you be on the little road, bro. On the fan duel. Oh, oh yeah, on the fan duel. Like, man, it took away. It took it took it took, it took not, males. It took males to do. Do you get your study on when you when you making these or are you just going off what you think? No. Like, nah, I yeah, I do study. So I had to come up with this new strategy. Mm -hmm. Because like the chasing. Like uh, obviously, I'm all. I don't know. I'm, I'm always throw my ten dollars and try to bring back ten bands. Like, for sure. I'm, I'm always throw one of them tickets in. <laughs> yeah. But for the most part, like me, like putting like keep putting ten dollars and, and trying to get five hundred, six hundred thousand, two thousand off off ten dollars. That yeah. shit's so highly unlikely. Yeah. So by the time I didn't beat and did, you been did that shit ten times. You can look up and say you you down a hundred for the week. Yeah. You know what I'm saying you like oh just ten, just ten. You down a hundred, two hundred for the week. So. Well, I'd rather say just I just wait and then I just I look at a game down the you know what I'm saying down the line and mm -hmm. just keep watching the teams up until that point. Mm -hmm. and I just put a hundred on it or put two hundred or whatever the case may be yeah. instead of just doing that because I got a, you got a better chance mm -hmm. or like I had this one you know you seen a little TikTok strategy or or shit where they try to do like turn ten dollars into ten bands and flip that shit for sure. So. I'm like, I ain't got ten days. Be <laughs> <laughs> I, I just I ain't like ten days. Be yeah. ten days like. 
<laughs> I'm about to shorten that shit. So I, I, I had, I came up with a, a strategy for like plus two hundred. Mm-hmm. So basically, that's basically turning one in one into three. So just that just kind of take me back to my hustling days. Like I'm just gonna try to flip this shit every day because you go, you gonna bet every day anyway. For sure. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, you, gotta, make you, sense. Just, you just gotta be disciplined and whatever. Mm-hmm. And then so that's the like on TikTok, them niggas be crashing out. So they they flip, you know, saying 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 40, and then they get that bitch all the way up to like 5,400 and then yeah. crash out. And then they just like, oh, well, we only started with 10. For no, sure. nigga, yeah. Yeah. fuck that. I'm about to, my strategy is I'm gonna take some along the way. Mm. I'm gonna take out, like, uh, you know, you hit, you hit, put it back all back in, hit again, take some out, yeah. put it all back in, take some out, and then build up. Nah, nigga be having bills and shit like that. <laughs> So like you'd be like that, but yeah, I do my research. Some shit, some shit, you just have a feel like, like for example, yes, yesterday, this shit was like um minus they had uh Halliburton his his, mm. his uh, hamstring or whatever. Yeah. So they had they didn't get an official word was he gonna be out. Yeah. So the line came in at minus seven for the for Boston. Now okay. prior to that, it was what minus uh they was like my my uh. Minus ten when they was at home or whatever, so I'm like, they just, they just whooped these niggas ass. So I'm like, yeah. they only getting minus seven. Yeah. I get they at home now, but Holliburton might not be playing. Yeah. So they they said Holliburton was out. It only went to minus eight, and then it dropped back down to minus seven again. Like, <laughs> hmm, this don't look right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it's some stuff like that. I just they be having a feeling. The shit don't be looking right. Just like Tyson Fury. Yeah, okay. I, and I don't even know who to do. I I ain't even know who to do what. Yeah, my son had to put me hip to him. Yeah. I see him, but I'm looking at the line, I'm like, mine is 128. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> the same fury that beat shit out of the yeah, yeah, like, I'm like, hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah. This, no, this looks funny. That shit, bro, that shit because I be having to get off that motherfucker, dog, because my, my problem yeah. ain't the motherfucker betting on the uh on the games. My shit is gambling, dog. The dice. Man, I wish you can like separate that shit or turn the casino side off from that shit, bro. I, I can't stand that shit. Duh. Because I'll fuck around. You'll be the I'll be the one and then you be so you be high off the dope means of winning. Yeah. Go right to the casino side. And get, I'm, I just all that fucking t- yelling at the coach in the fucking TV screen and shit and then go back and lose that shit back. Duh, like, uh, and what? Take this shit off. Bro. I ain't lost though. I remember one time I was on Dice nigga lost about a strong 150, nigga, 200 like in, in a matter of like 30 minutes. Nigga, you looking at like that bitch like God. But I remember I hit one time, nigga. The most I hit off of, off the dice, probably about 800. About eight. It's just that's on the dice shit. On the dice. Yeah. I fuck around with that the uh Baccarat. Man, I had a crazy story. Then I I put like a like a five leg on in on uh it was like week sixteen or something like NFL. Yeah. Like not this season but the last season before yeah. that. Like came through. Yeah. Came through. It was like like thirty two hundred or some shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> Went right over the Baccarat. <laughs> Uh, man, they, they, man, they took man, they took back like five hundred of that shit back in like two minutes. I'm like, man, let me get the fuck them over here. Right? With, on the dice on on DraftKings, is this one bet you can make? So you can put um, uh, basically you hit every number. So before you hit seven, before you crap out, of course. So you can put you can put um like the pirate bet at the casino type shit. Yeah. So like nigga, you got what eight eight nine ten eleven twelve. So you got to hit all five of those points, and then you before you go out, it's like a thirty-two and one. Before you go, yeah, hit seven. Yeah, okay. but this one particular time, I put one on that side. I put one from the numbers of uh two, three, four, five, six, and then you put I put two in the middle for all the fucking numbers. So nigga, I hit all them bitches in one time. Nigga, it was eight, like seven, eight hundred right there and there. Yeah, just because you hit all fucking numbers before you hit seven. Yeah, but like that's the part that fuck you because you 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 thirty-two to one. You trying to put five dollars on that motherfucker real quick, you know what I'm saying? Then you get that last number, you need an eight. Like, nigga, yeah. I know I get the eight, nigga. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and put five on the hard eight and five on the regular eight, because I'm gonna Yeah. And then like <laughs> Yeah, because I got a pace, I got that gambling shit, man. I saw this I got all this shit tagged on me. Gambling, yeah. all type of gambling shit. Like, yeah. I gotta stop though, though. Yeah, sometimes. But yeah, you, you sometimes you gotta delete the app. Sometimes yeah. you sometimes you do. Yeah. You, gotta, you gotta delete that bitch. Like, <laughs> like cause you win or lose, you be up at night. Like wait, like you win, like What's the next one? I just I just won. What's that the next? Is drugs, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie. What time I was up all night, nigga? My wife was like, "What's wrong?" Nigga, I was mad as fuck. Niggas, nigga, niggas be selling on point point five. Like, 
Lose lose a whole ticket off point five. <laughs> like I said, I'd rather put my money down on the, on the best than the motherfucker that, that gambling shit, dog. Yeah. Because it's in your fucking hand, bro. It's so it's, easy. Right. You just log in like, that like bitch. Like you said, you used to be outside, niggas. You had to hunt for dice games Duh, and shit. hunt. Nigga, now you can just and, shoot dice and by then, yourself, nigga. And then look. So look like, they got the, you know, they got the automatic machine and shit. So I had to, like, have a makeshift dice game in my mind. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, when this this time around, this this me this me shooting the dice. So I'm going to bet, like, I'm, you know, now I got to get my backs and shit like that. And then... I'm betting this nigga over here and let it come around. And yeah. I'm like, man. No, that shit is a motherfucker, though. I'm the type of nigga that'll keep betting the dough. Like, I'm going to keep riding with seven. Yeah. You'll fuck around and cut. you going to get caught in, in a whirlwind yeah. and that shit. And then, like I said, dog, this shit, they know what they're doing, bro. Because when you watch the commercials, dog, that motherfucker, these gambling sites are on every fucking commercial, dog. Like, you watch the sports, nigga. You watch the NBA game. You're going to get so many goddamn different commercials. It's just luring you in, dog. Like, that shit, like, and now these podcasts are being. Sponsored, sponsored by man. these motherfuckers, dog. So it's That's like right. a cold cam, cold right, mace. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, dog. But yeah, the, 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 I'll say the the, the shit that I, I'm I'm uh, most profitable in when it comes to the sports betting is is college, yeah. especially college basketball. So how will I, my schedule usually go? Football, like when football season in, I don't fuck with the NBA, not too much. Yeah. It's like it's just be too much going on <laughs> at that time. It'd be college football, college basketball, yeah. you know, professional football, professional basketball. So if you are October, it might be the baseball, baseball so, you know what I'm saying? So hockey, all that shit be going on at one time. UFC on Saturday, this shit. Like I got a, I got a nigga in UF, like uh a nigga that, that fuck with UFC heavy, like this nigga putting together tickets. I'm like, I don't know, I don't know none of these people. Like yeah. this nigga have like a 10 leg sheet or whatever. I'm like, damn, like, man, who who is these people? But um, I'll, yeah, I don't fuck with basketball because, like, you got you need a little time to bat sure. to see who is who going, in, yeah, in, well, in the NBA yeah. and yep. shit. So, one of the time football season over with, then that's what I, I go to like college college basketball is probably most profitable, especially like not the power five, yeah. but you go find them lower small tier school, schools, yeah. the small schools in like Oakland, yeah. uh, Darmouth, or whatever. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Princeton, because those, they real amateurs. So they the closest thing to like, the all the analytics is going to be kind of true. You ain't yeah. going to, and, and then also, you ain't got to worry about no lower management. Yeah, yeah. They He's playing, every, play. they playing yeah. every game. Yeah, the yeah. coach going to play all the way to the end. He ain't subbing his people out. He's going to file all the yeah. way to the end. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? They, they down twelve. He still gonna follow doing one and ones and shit like mm-hmm. that. So you can it's more more predictable. More, not mostly the teams is gonna. Um, yeah, that's your motherfucker, dog. Yeah, like you fuck with. Like, yeah, I, I I was you know I, I was eating good off the off the college basketball at the NBA. These spoiled niggas. <laughs> <laughs> and, and too, cause like it'd be real, like like you go look at cause remember casino and shit, like all it'd be like the little smallest shit would matter. Yeah. So these is these is real people. Hey, I'm not betting on I'm not betting on no visiting team that that playing in Miami on the weekend. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah You've been like, out yeah. all like you got an afternoon game at three, nigga. Mm-hmm. You was out last night and live or somewhere fucking where oh, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying fountain blue. Going Duh. crazy and shit, drunk as hell. I, 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 we hear all the stories. Like you got people like Gilbert Arenas yeah. and them giving them the, the, the yep, real, the yep. real shit or whatever. Like, hell yeah. hey, y'all niggas coming out selling tickets. We ain't doing. We ain't fuck with that. I'm Duh. fuck with these nineteen year old niggas. Hell yeah, that's gonna play. Yeah, like, Nig- and then that that be a motherfucker too. When you got a bet. And then the niggas just going up by like they up by twenty. So now these niggas sit the fourth quarter. You need that nigga to score three more points, nigga. Like, damn, right. this nigga ain't about to get back in the game. Or they get hurt in the first quarter. Your shit all fucked up. <laughs> nigga, damn, dog. Hey, but that gambling shit, motherfucker. But if y'all out there, nigga, come sponsor the show. Shit, <laughs> come <laughs> shine this motherfucker, dog, for real. For, for sure. No, no. Speaking of sports and shit, we can talk about music, bro. You got son, man. Your son, last time your son was extra young when he was on his motherfucker dog. Yeah, my son, man. He uh, he, he graduating from uh kindergarten. Just, yeah. just, uh, it's uh Wednesday and shit. How are you gonna be, man? Like Sean, the motherfucking father, dog. When it comes to your kid growing up playing sports, might want to get the music. Are you gonna be one on one to press the issue as far as like you gotta do one of these things, or are you gonna let him like find his love for the shit as he go? So, when, as far as like the sports, so last last summer. You know, say he stayed with me and shit. We he, he did he did baseball. Mm. So, you know, he been doing different sports. Like he say, like he said, he wanted. He told me personally, like he wanted to keep doing different sports or whatever. Yeah, he yeah. he wanted to play different sports or whatever. Sure. So, so he, you know, when he come up here this time, he, he say, he, you know, say he gonna do flag flag football, mm. and then we are gonna do some uh, we gonna do some like some either some boxing or some uh, 
or maybe some like some type of martial arts or something yeah. like or something like that. Um, but yeah, he tall as he tall as shit. Like yeah. he um, you know, what I'm saying he like in the. Like, like you go to doctor, saying like he's like ninety nine percent tall. He's gonna be tall and shit. So, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I would love for him to, you know, what I'm saying, play, you know, what I'm saying, play sports or whatever. Of course, you know, I'm gonna be there, you know, trying to like we was playing baseball, you know, we was out going practicing in diamond and stuff, you know, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I was outside of him going to practice and stuff. So, mm-hmm. I definitely be hands on with him, but. It it depends on what, whatever he want to do. I'm, I'm but uh, yeah, I'm I'm gonna definitely yeah. steer him in a direction. But if he ain't feeling it, then he ain't feeling it. Like, but it's funny too. Like even with music, you know, you go to school, you know, do music and shit, and you know, what I'm saying he talking about he want me to buy him a trumpet. That was ironically that was the the first instrument that I played when I was a kid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, damn, you want? Me, but they, you know, they used to let you take the, the instrument home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, know, you thought you want me to buy one? I'm like. I like, I like, it's expensive, bro. You better, you better be Louis Armstrong. I don't go buy this motherfucker. Anybody to put this blow on this bitch, like with your tunes or whatever, and then go talk, go put that shit down at the like. To, no, you about to you gotta play this motherfucker. You know, yeah, you about to be like uh fucking uh Miles Davis and Miles Wright. <laughs> Hell yeah, you about to be you about to be singing "Hail to the Victors" out there with Michigan. Hell, Hell yeah, dog. Cause like, man, my son just. Broke my broke my heart a little bit, dog. Nigga, I just told him, dog, my n- nigga about be a senior, and then nigga told me like he already on hoop squad. Yeah, he just said, nigga, he don't want to hoop no more. Oh yeah, and that shit hurt me, nigga. Like I wanted to punch this nigga, dog, low key, but I'm like, uh, yeah, I feel it too. I, I was like my like my nephew, my nephew. Um, he was you know uh, he was playing football and stuff. Yeah, and this was like he 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 ain't playing high school or whatever, but when he was playing in in, in little league, whatever. Yeah. So I'm I'm. No, he was big. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Big. I'm like, bro, you you could be a, a tackle. I'm, yeah. I'm pulling up the pulling up the highest page uh, left tackle. So I'm like, bro, this sign for like 71. Hell million. yeah, like, sure, you got it. He like, man, I'm like, nigga, you, nigga, you buy your mama all type of shit. Yeah. <laughs> Get her out the hood, bro. Like, yeah. Duh. Yeah, but then, like I said, I was being, you know, saying I, I kind of knew it, dog, because like he had different. He liked basketball. I used to love that shit. Yeah. So like my off time. When I was young, nigga, only thing I wanted to do was have my mom take me to the gym. I'm going to Joe D. I'm going to Basketball City. I'm going to the park. I'm going wherever, nigga, the Salvation Army hoop up there. Yeah. Brewer, like, wherever it was a hoop, but, nigga, I'm trying to go hoop. Right. And this nigga ain't, nigga, never asked me to go hoop. So I knew it, but I was kind of like a now a little bit. So when he told me the other day, I'm like, because, you know, I still coach. I coach the girls and shit. I'm like, yeah, we about to be playing a little tournament at your rival school. I'm like, nigga, speaking of, nigga, when the fuck you going to, nigga, you going to get your shit right for the next season? I ain't really mess with the basketball no more. I'm like, nigga, what? Yeah. Nigga, it's like he just hit me in my face, nigga, the way I felt, nigga. I'm like, bitch, like, what you mean? Like, I ain't got no love for you. You know, it's I don't be asking the hoop and shit. Nigga, I'm that bitch, like, nigga, what? Nigga, yeah. like, hey, nigga, you lazy as fuck, nigga. <laughs> like, no, I just don't want to do it no more. I want to, right, right now, he kind of getting this shit. He want to get into editing and doing videos and shit like that. Yeah, so, that's cool. Yeah, I'm like, nigga, but my thing is, if you're going to do that, bro, if you're going to say, fuck this shit, you got, you can't be like, oh, I'm going to do this shit and then just be like, you know what I'm saying, bullshit. Well, you got to go, you got deep dive in this shit. Like, you got to read, because you can make money editing videos and oh, yeah, for, picking that camera sure. up and shit like that. He know he do a little shit, like, ain't make money. So, if you're going to do it, you're going to do it. Like, don't, but don't just stop hooping because you're on some lazy shit. Like, really, really, like, not have love for this shit no more. Because what's going to happen, you go back to school, and it's going to be in your head, like, why you not hooping this shit? Right. That shit hurt me, though, dog. Yeah, yeah, I I, I could I could dig it. Especially sure. when I'm coaching it. But my little son, it's, it's his turn now. So I got to make sure he don't hate it, nigga. So I'm, I'm not going to do the whole he got game shit, dog. Like, oh, yeah. Because right now, he want to come. He he different from my oldest son. He want to come to the gym with me every time I go to the gym. Okay. I don't have to ask, nigga. I'm out the door. Him and my daughter, nigga, chase behind me. They yeah. both come in that bitch, nigga, every day. So I'm like... I'm trying to be cool. I ain't going to be that parent to really like put no pressure on him. Like, don't be like your brother, nigga. And say, fuck right. basketball. Right. <laughs> so, nigga, that's why I say, like, when you got kids, dog, sometimes you we put our expectations on them so much because yeah. the shit that we might have, you know what I'm saying, fucked up on or some shit you think about, like, damn, I could have did this. Right. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. So, yeah, dog, but shout out to the dads, man. This man, show, man. Father's Day coming up. Shout out to the dads, man. Hey, man, I ain't trying to be too much in your personal life, man. No, so we get older, you know. You ever think about marriage and shit, dog? Because I ask this nigga, he say fuck marriage and shit. Man, <laughs> you think about shit like that, dog? You oh, that shit do don't I, even cross I, your mind. No, I mean, do I think about it. Do I, <laughs> nah, not really. I mean, look, man. <laughs> listen, man. I, I did. 
I've been on both sides of the spectrum as far as man. I don't know, bro. <laughs> Look, like even man, I I come across you know people like yeah. different you know aspects of a life. Like man, they be older, like white people or black people, whatever. They like they be married for like twenty five years and then get a divorce. Yeah, like, you waste all. <laughs> like man, so you just blocked all this pussy out here for, for years. Like, yeah, like all. Like I can't go get I can't get that back, you know. What I'm For sure. But no, I don't, I don't, I don't, all some real shit though. I mean, it it is like I don't know if, if I don't know. Depend on I don't know which I don't think about it. I, yeah. I really think about like success or whatever. For sure. Like it's always in my mind. You know, you say you get yourself to a certain point, and then you feel you like you 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 build you build out your world you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying so yeah. you get your success and then or let's say you, you get a house or whatever like i got this house let me fill this house let me fill this house with a wife or with some kids and and, and fill it out like that yeah. some people some people get the, the girl first and then build with the girl mm-hmm. or whatever you know what i'm saying but depends on how you feel yeah, like depends on what's going on but no nah, I, I mean i didn't i, I didn't my, you know what I'm saying my parents weren't married so i it wasn't i i do see people who who grew up like that tend to more so to before yeah. to be a thing it wasn't normal for me like in the hood it wasn't a lot for of people sure. married and stuff like that and i don't know all that i don't know just too much it just seems like it'd be too much that go with that, the, with, that it's yeah. like it'd be more constant than it'd be for sure and you it, it's hard to find that right motherfucker though you might think that's the right motherfucker they'd be like nigga <laughs> Yeah, fool the fuck out of me, though. Yeah, like, and, I, and, I, and when you get older, I think more so is like, like, like minded, like find motherfuckers who 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 align with you. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Cause yeah. You can have the baddest, the baddest bitch, mm-hmm. and you'd be like, shit, she could be a nine or whatever. You had a six over here that got that can cook. <laughs> you know what I'm so, hey, we got goals or, and shit, or, or, or you know what I'm saying? It's seven. She might just be cool as hell. She just might be. They got a better personality or something like that. Yeah. Like, so it, I don't know, man. It's, just, it's I don't, it ain't nothing I really think about. I ain't against it. I ain't yeah. gonna say like hell no. I ain't never getting married. Yeah, for sure. But it ain't nothing that I really, I really think about too much. I just really trying to better myself yeah. and, and get to the point where, and I will probably never get to a point where I'm satisfied. I think I'm, I'm one of the perfectionist type of type mm-hmm. of niggas. So. I'll probably at some point, but you know, niggas niggas getting older and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't, I don't know, you know, mm-hmm. I, I, I don't know. Like I say, it ain't, it ain't really like you say. Do think about it. It ain't really too much. I yeah. put, I put. In, for sure. you, in. Yeah, you think about just make sure everything right, especially for you, you got son and shit. Like make sure everything. Yeah, yeah. You know, so once you get to say, hey, he good to go. Yeah, yeah dog. Because like, and you right, bro. Because like when you growing up, you know, saying you. Niggas, niggas don't go to motherfucking weddings for real. Like, yeah, I can count on one hand. Probably, I mean, weddings I've been to, bro. Like, like one wedding, bro. Damn. <laughs> you know, I, I can count a Ninja Turtle hand. How many times? <laughs> the sister hand. Yeah, I probably, I think I went to a, a reception. I, I went to like an actual wedding. I probably went to one. I probably went to a couple receptions. Damn. I, I crashed a wedding one time. And shit, yeah. That shit was lit one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, me and my old joint, we we crashed a wedding and shit. That shit was funny as hell. Duh, that shit crazy. Some white, some white people and shit. They was, some, they was Irish. They was like Irish shit because they had all kilts and shit. Oh, it was cool as hell and shit too. So yeah, because I, I I've, been, I've been to a couple of the motherfuckers, dog. Like that's it, dog. Like like my my brother, my aunt, my. My cousin, nigga, and then my mother-in-law. <laughs> about it, yeah, my my cousin. I don't I seen the, like walk down the aisle. Yeah, was my yeah. was my cousin. Yeah, cause then, cause like I said, like, like niggas neighborhood. Just most of the time, niggas just being long ass relationships, nigga. Like, yeah. and she got and she, and, and she got divorced. Yeah, so. Like, damn. So it's like, <laughs> so we you go way more. Like I said, you go way more funerals, dog, than you go to weddings, dog. You do way more funeral and way more baby showers. Yeah, for sure. Definitely dog. more baby showers. That's a fact. That's a fact, dog. And shit, we got married during COVID and shit, so we ain't had to worry about all them people and shit, dog. Yeah. Had a little nigga, she had her little starting five. I had my starting five with a sub. And that was it, yeah. nigga. And kept it moving, dog. Yeah, man. Like, but shit, we ain't we didn't switch up. Everything still everything was the same and shit. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just niggas, niggas just got a title now. We was living together for, you know what I'm saying, a nice little minute. Like my mom and dad, them niggas was together for like thirteen years and shit. And they never got married. Never got married. Then they just broke up after a while, nigga. Like, right? <laughs> it was going to jail too much, dog. <laughs> she get tired of that shit, dog. And this it was over, nigga. Right. Like, niggas they had to worry about no papers and shit, which is over, dog. And we we talking about life shit, bro. What was some shit that you, what was some shit that you uh, pass on to your younger self, dog, to get you like 
maybe some bullshit that you was on when you was younger that you more knowledgeable on now. What was some game you get your younger self and help that help you on the way? Man, plan, <laughs> plan, plan, like plan, hey, write everything down, and plan it. Just like just like video game, you know, you have to do the objectives. Yeah. And you check that mission. You gotta be like that. Like you gotta have a mission. You just like and and keep on doing that shit until that shit get checked off. Like yeah. a lot of shit, a lot of shit niggas was winging. And a lot of shit was just like ex expectations. It was kind of like head in the clouds a little bit. I don't mm -hmm. know if it was like, I don't know if it's probably ego or probably thinking like, shit, I'm a good dude, it's gonna happen to or just thinking like, I'm just believing so much that without actually, like a lot of stuff about a nigga was just winging. Mm -hmm. Even though I was going in the right direction, I knew exactly what I, I knew what I wanted to do, but mm -hmm. I didn't really know how to do it. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I say just plan and do your research. Cause when I, when I do, Plan shit and and then to have that discipline, that shit yeah. makes shit happen. It seems like that. It seems like you type of nigga like once you got your mindset on something, like you gonna go full fledged and like you gonna deep dive and make sure you you know the ins and outs of the shit. Yeah, yeah, cause like I'm like if whatever I'm like if I'm if I'm working or whatever like if I'm like focused on something, mm. if I'm doing something like whatever. Be, let's say if I'm if I'm writing bars or if I'm editing some shit or some fucking around some 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 graphic design type shit or something like that. Like mm. I'll be Shit, or even game. I would do that shit. Like I won't even get hungry. Right. Like I'd be hungry, but but me being so focused, yeah, like yeah. I, I can put that shit off. Like while I'm focused on doing, that, I had to tell myself to stop or some shit like that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if I I'll be I'll be locked in. I'm and I'm the type of person that be uh, like I go I go be in a cut. Like I'm a I'm a lone wolf type of nigga. So. Yeah. You won't see, you you probably won't see me for a little while. Right. Like I'll just be ducked off be and, then, and then just and just pop back up. Like I, so, you know, some niggas come around when they, yeah. some people come around when they fucked up. Like <laughs> then they get the, they get the money, they get the fuck on yeah. or whatever. Like yeah. you know, what I'm saying they like, oh man, like oh, you know, fun niggas be phony. Be like oh yeah, that's <laughs> hell yeah, he fucked up. That's why he back around. <laughs> like, he the, wants <laughs> yeah, he wants something. Yeah, he wants something. Yeah, I'm 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 the opposite. Like if I'm fucked up, I'm gonna go get low. Yeah, and then I'm gonna sure. come back around when it's lit. Like, what's up? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. I got some information to share or some like or we whatever it is. Yeah, no, for sure. But niggas don't really be like shit. I thought about that shit, bro. Like I got an older brother, you know what I'm saying? And I thought about this shit. Like my pops passed away when I was extra young. Like, yeah. like niggas who be thriving really don't I don't think it's a it, it's it's something that they do intentionally. It's just like they just don't even think about giving like game or something that they did. Like maybe like my brother was in a stock or some shit. Like I never heard him say, "Hey, nigga, you need to do this." Most of the time, my brother's like, "Hey, nigga, don't get nobody pregnant." I'm like you know what I'm saying? Like especially like this, but it's like I need that game. But then you start learning when you get when you get older. Like damn, I wish niggas would have gave me this knowledge. You know what I'm saying? A little bit younger and shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Hell yeah. So it's like like, but now it's up to me. So that's why like, with me coaching, I'll be telling these little motherfuckers like what to do, what not to do, and they. Probably ain't listening to shit, but it'd be one motherfucker that might listen to some shit, though. But it's like, it, I think it's our job now to pass that game on to niggas who didn't pass that shit on to us. Yeah, for, that's, that's that's for sure. And then, like you say, you, 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 you remember when you in Bustle, like, you, you that crackheads come up to the school and shit. <laughs> they talk to us and shit. Like, anybody who's coming to the school, like, you know what I'm saying? For real, swear to God. Like, nigga, don't be like me. <laughs> like, can't straighten that motherfucker, right, though. You know, I mean, sure, anybody coming like... I'm key. Like, why you talking? Nigga, those are the people you want to talk to. Like, them niggas give you... Them niggas got stories, dog. Yeah. Because I like, think about this. I know you watched it, because this nigga... Only nigga I know didn't watch Snowfall, bro. Uh, you know what? I, I, I'm just going to be blasphemy, bro. I ain't never watch it. I ain't never watch it, bro. So I can't even say what I was gonna say there. I, no, yeah, I ain't never... you got every, everybody who wear that character. You you got those in every neighborhood. A nigga who was just up, 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 yeah, and just fell the fuck off. Yeah, uh, and like I said, that, those niggas like I would love to have a I would love to have an episode dog with a nigga who was just who was just like up in life and then shit just went down for him. Like yeah. I wanted, I want to get, I want to know what his 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 where his head was during that time and what led to his you know what I'm saying falling off and shit. Yeah, because you think about those drug dealers, them niggas. You never see a successful drug dealer from back in the day, like besides like A Z, A Z maybe or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? From where? Yeah, uh, paid paid full, but like you never really see like the nigga who did who did it got the fuck on and, and nigga doing his thing. Like most of the time, they end up nigga being dead, locked up, or broke. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Still, yeah, you yeah, you probably really find motherfuckers who 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 still who well off. Yeah, we're at that goal, like nigga, I'm I'm set, I'm doing this, I'm then I'm out. 
Right. And that's it. Because like you said, with that gambling shit, nigga, once you get so much money, nigga, you trying to get more money, nigga. Like, it's never an end goal. Yeah, I've seen this kid, nigga, say, nigga, say, nigga, win the lottery for a billion dollars. say, what's next? Nigga, say, billion dollar parlay. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas ain't never said that, but I think that just comes from like most of us niggas just being so broke. Like I know with me, I have been my mom and them been broke so long that you try to stay away from that shit. You know what right. I'm saying? Hell yeah. And speaking of nigga, like you had the business, bro. Like I see you on your print side and stuff like that yeah. with the graphic designs and stuff. And shit, you bought that. that I know that machine is expensive as hell. Yeah, that shit was like that shit was like twenty five k. Yeah, it was like it was. There's two of them though. It's like but, it's two of them. But you made your money. I know you made that shit. Yeah, like yeah. this. This was like during. I don't know if I, I shared it, with it. it was like last time, but it, it was like right in the heart of the pandemic. Mm. Like I, I, I flew to Dallas. It was a convention. I mean, like that, and, and it was a. I had to do my research and, and shit. I did, you know, get my my ducks in a row. It was like a. When I made my decision that I like this is what I want, it was like seven months prior and shit. So I had to work, get the credit and shit right. Yeah. And then you know what I'm saying, flew down to uh, flew down to uh, Dallas and shit. Mm. And uh, it was like a three day convention. So the first day went down there. Luckily, you know what I'm saying, I got all my paperwork and shit. Mm. Nigga, the next day. Nigga, they shut everything down. Nigga, like everything, like they they canceled the NBA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm supposed, supposed to go supposed to go see Dallas in the Sun. I'm like hell yeah. I'm like about to see this nigga Luca. Yeah, I'm like Devin, Devin, Devin Booker or whatever. Nigga, they shut everything down. I'm like damn, but I, I got the paperwork in and went and went from there. But now like uh, I'm trying to expand that um into and get into art, like basically be uh distributors for 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 artists who make uh you know, we make uh, pieces or whatever. Mm. So, um, it was a, um, down the Easter market, uh, Jack Daniels had some type of like an event. It was mm. like a, it was like a, kind of like an art exhibit party type of vibe, mm. but it wasn't no music though. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. like a, you know, social event, but the shit was banging like the club and shit, yeah. like elbow to elbow yeah. in, that, in that joint. I'm gonna show you the pictures and stuff too, but these artists, I know they, they reprint stuff just like Mona Lisa or the, or the dogs playing poker and shit like that. So, mm connect with them they like they they doing all the food work they selling their stuff or whatever mm. and and i'll just be the person who just you know just be their distributor and try to you know connect with them like that and yeah. then also people be having cribs and whatever or they just want art or their family members and stuff like that mm. that yeah. should be you know you get 100 150 a, a, a pop you know yeah. what i'm saying that's some different shit because niggas ain't even think about shit like that like, yeah yeah ain't even up on that shit you know what i'm saying and, and, and you know what I'm saying link with uh People who do interior design, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? These cribs and stuff like that, big, big houses and shit. So that's why I'm, I'm trying to connect yeah. stuff like that. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So you say, yo, your second wave, you on some different shit away from that music shit. Like you just, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that's important, though. Like I said, niggas be thinking when you get a certain age, it's a rap. Yeah. You still got some shit that you can learn, make some money, you can make money until you doubt these guys. No, nah, it's be so much. And then it's like, it's a, it's a rabbit hole because, man, you be going, like I say, like the art shit was just a, just my printer just to have the ability to, to print on canvas mm. you know what i'm saying and so like now i make i can make a canvas like the size of a t-shirt like 12 by 16 like this size or whatever mm. so i was you know so i was selling them or whatever so especially stuff like mother's day or whatever or anytime people want to you know blow up a picture or whatever and stuff mm. like that putting a wall over there but they always ask like you got, you got anything bigger you got anything bigger i'm like no nah. i'm like nah i'm, yeah. like, I'm like not right now because i ain't had any equipment but just just got uh, you know what I'm saying just got the equipment mm -hmm. so about to you know what I'm saying expand on that shit. Yeah, yeah. So that's something you still doing right now. So you'd be doing t-shirts too, that shit, right? Yeah, still, yeah. yeah, still, still do my printing and stuff. You know, uh, family reunions, birthdays, or whatever. So yeah. I went to grad, went to graphic school and shit. I think that was yeah, that's something I did. Let's listen to last time with the uh, um, Lawrence Tech over in Southfield and mm -hmm. Specs Howard basically bought they uh, Lawrence Tech bought Spex, Specs Howard. Oh, straight up. Okay, yeah, yeah. I was wondering what happened to Specs Howard though. Yeah, they bought. I know the, the, the building Specs Howard that shit closed, they closed right? Yeah, yeah I was, damn, yep. I was wondering that shit. Yep, I stayed in, not too far from there. Yep, it's in it's in Lawrence Tech now. Yeah, they still yeah still in still in Southfield and shit though. Yeah. But, yeah. Hell yeah! Yeah, I touched, I had to touch some skills up because I was I was outsourcing. I, I was like doing the printing, but I didn't know how to do the design and shit. So I was outsourcing the yeah. design shit. So sometimes I wasn't even making no money. I just yeah. had to had the clientele. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Keep coming and shit like that. So now I know how to, I, I know how to do it and shit. Yeah, and so shout you out to my nigga. Yeah, hell yeah. Though anything else that you want to you you, you want to try new uh, as far as like you know what I'm saying on the on the business side or just on the business some new shit. I mean, of course, definitely got to, you know, definitely got to tap into the real estate mm -hmm. for for the show. Um, you know, that's, that's, the, that's where the most millionaire is at. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, just yeah, expanding that um, and it, yeah, expanding 
you know what I'm saying, the, the print stuff, like everybody, you know, I'm gonna say everybody, but there's always new new um brands and stuff that's coming out and stuff like that. So shit, if I could be like I say, I if I could be their distributor or, or they uh you know, manufacturer shit. That's that's pretty much what I'm focused on yeah, right now. Yeah. Yeah, you done with the uh with the clothes shit as far as like your, your I know you, last time we talked you had slime ball. Yeah, uh oh yeah, so I got I got this new I got this uh this this new brand I just I just launched. Mm-hmm. It's called it's called it's 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 all it's called rigged. It's based off the sports betting shit. <laughs> that's the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So that's the that's the first uh I I gotta get you some merch. For sure. But that's the first uh that's the first thing niggas say. They yeah, said niggas yeah, lose it. This shit rigged. Yeah, Lions lost the answer with rigged. This shit, yeah, yeah, shit, yeah, shit rigged, yeah. So I got some I got some uh <laughs> that shit dope though. That shit yeah, that's it is the first thing niggas say though, everything. Hell yeah. So yeah, I got I got I got that shit. So um also um I was I just gonna do some uh some shit uh, for for the for the sports betting and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Uh I was trying to I was trying to expand on expand on that, but maybe all over the place try to drop some content or whatever. I don't know, probably fuck with like the little TikTok or whatever. Yeah. Or even or even possibly do like a little a little small pod or whatever, just specifically. I was gonna ask you about that shit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. just just specifically for that, like It'd be some good, like I say, just keeping some uh, simple bets. I was doing this one shit like lock, lock of the day, because like some people, people always back to me about, like, like give me, send me a parlay, send me yeah, a parlay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna ask you one day too. Yeah. <laughs> but look, I but look, like I, I bet I have a lot of parlays, so yeah. I probably would send you like just just look at the math for this shit. So yeah. I probably have a lot of parlay. You putting four, five, six legs on there for sure, and all of them got hit. So if one go wrong, it, it's, it's, it's over. Yeah. It's all right. So now not only you got to get all of them right. So now I've out of the ones that I have, I probably would have uh, all the parlays don't hit that I have. Yeah, right. Sure. You know what I'm saying? So I probably have, I'll, let's say I'll put 10 in, maybe one hit. Yeah. So now I got to <laughs> be accurate enough to have all these six, like if it's a six legger, all of them got to be right. And I got to pick the one that's going to win <laughs> out of the one, out of the 10 yeah. I done made. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> Obviously, I ain't going to send you every bet that I, that I made yeah. because I don't want you to be gambling as much as me. I yeah. probably don't gamble as much as I need to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But what I would what I would advise people to do is say, get, if you can get one lock from one person, you say, give me one lock. If you can put, if you can bet the house on any one one leg, yeah. what would it be? And yeah. then you can get if you get that from four or five different people who you you feel trusted enough, or mm-hmm. you somebody like me or somebody or somebody else. Now you done built you a parlay because he put he he wholeheartedly believe in this. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He he got a pick that he locked in. You got a pick that you locked in. That's three legs that you got. That's a nice parlay, depending yeah. on how much money you put on it. For sure. You know what I'm saying? So that's yeah. why I always tell people like just get one get get one pick from one person. Yeah. Maybe two. If you, if you and, feel like it, it ain't no podcast where niggas just talking about like, you know what I'm saying? I, I know it is, but it ain't one that's like out there and blow up. I think Jeff T, brother Marcus T, they got a podcast when they talk about sports betting. Yeah. That's the only one I know about. Oh, okay, and them niggas, them niggas, the funniest niggas in the world. Though. Man, Jeff, Jeff, Jeff Teague is the funniest yeah. nigga in the world, bro. Who, who, what's your go-to podcast right now? Like my shit is them and, and Cam and Mace. But I don't even call Cam and Mace shit a podcast. It ain't, yeah, it ain't really shit, a podcast. Nigga, I stopped watching. I don't watch First Take no more, bro. Oh yeah, I watch First Take sometimes with Shannon on that bitch. But like, nigga, I, I'm watching Cam and Mace in the morning, nigga. And then Sh- Shannon ain't Shannon ain't a good debater to me. <laughs> no, because he was a better debater with Skip because. They, I think they really didn't like each other. He, him and him and, and Steve, they too cool to they, even yeah, debate. They, yeah, they, 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 they too, laughing they too, and they shit. Too buddy, buddy, yeah. and shit like that. They don't, he don't, he don't go at him like he disagree. He politely disagree with him, but yeah. he don't, he don't go at him. Skip, like nigga, like, he like to me like skipping fucking Steve Nate was better because they disagree on yeah. everything. Yeah, and then like skip skip shit over with. Like, yeah, his his wave is over, nigga. To me, us niggas in this bitch dog, like like you going, to, you got Mark Mark Jackson shit. Low key, Mark Jackson, his son shit straight. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with that shit. Like, so you see, you got Cam and Mace, you got all the smoke, even though Stat be doing some whole shit sometimes. Yeah. Some I fuck, uh, yeah, I fuck with Cam, yeah, Cam and Mace show. Mm-hmm. Uh, I fuck with... I fuck with Bud, Joe Button and shit. Yeah, I still fuck with them. Um... I I I, I stopped watching Drink Champs. I think yeah, Drink Champs I, fell off. I ain't gonna lie. I I, I know uh, Q still watch Drink Champs. I fell off Drink Champs, so I don't remember the last one I watched for real. I think Nori Nori got a little too gossipy. Yeah, a little bit. And and like Andy wasn't even asking asking the right questions because of his relationships. I feel. Yeah. Like, What's saying them them niggas funny as fuck though? They got the Ocho and Shannon. Who, oh, yeah, camp, oh, oh yeah, Nike. Them yeah. niggas funny as hell. Yeah, I, yeah, I, 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 I watch that nigga. Nigga Shannon a tricking ass nigga for real. <laughs> that nigga tricking ass nigga. He tricking up Molly. He tricking on Molly and shit too. 
<laughs> you see, she was like, they told me they had a bet. She, she was like, yeah, Shannon overnighted me the bag or whatever. Like, for sure. Then she did a 360 for that yeah, nigga. Shit, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't fuck with Molly. I hate when she be on that show, though. Molly annoying as fuck. Hell yeah, nigga. That bitch they, look, the Nick, funniest part, moderate. Look, the funny part is, too, like when her and Jalen was going through their shit. Yeah. So did nobody know. Yeah. But I, I wound up popping out like one time. Nigga, I'm out of the club. This nigga Jalen Rose on uh, the club and shit. Jeezy, I think G was like in Nikki's and shit. Jeezy came through that bitch. Mm -hmm. And Jalen Rose out there, like, like, I'm like, damn, I'm like, this, this nigga Jalen Rose. Like, I seen him somewhere else too. Like, this nigga Jalen Rose. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like yeah. they can't be with this nigga. Yeah. Like, <laughs> now he got the what's name though, the black activist chick, Angela Ra. Oh, yeah. She went her she, and she shit. Called. And you can tell he ain't got to his, you know what I'm saying? He 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 he, 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 he I ain't say he changed it for the bad, but like he seen like nigga fuck these white niggas like for real. Yeah. Cause basically he said fuck Stephen A. Like on that bullshit he was on when he did the whole shit about Russell Westbrook. Oh yeah. He said he called the league and shit. He's like man, he's clown ass niggas basically and shit, dog. Yeah. But yeah, I fuck with the with the uh with the sports podcast, bro. It kind of like right now niggas niggas ain't tuning in to uh FX with with Skip and shit. Yeah. And they they try to do this shit with Michael Irvin and Keyshawn Johnson, but Keyshawn Johnson got to be the worst nigga to talk sports in life. Man, that nigga, said, he, he trash, bro. Terrible oh, dog. Him and motherfucking Paul Pierce is trash. They trash, bro. Like, I'm fucking Michael Irvin just because his answers, that nigga be kind of loud and talk crazy. I just want to hear him rant. Yeah. Know. <laughs> but Keyshawn Johnson is the worst nigga in the world, dog, when it comes to talking sports, dog. I do not want to hear shit he got to say. Man. <laughs> Duh, that's... He was tri nigga. He, he was a fucking trash receiver to me. Like he was decent, but Keyshawn. he talked like he was just that nigga. Like he was Randy or somebody. Like did he, did he did he get the highest one? Keyshawn Johnson ain't even Larry Fitzgerald, nigga. Nah, he was uh, Larry Fitzgerald better than Keyshawn Johnson, nigga. Remember, remember he had it. Remember, uh, because he had that one year that the nigga ain't catch no touchdowns. He got that one touchdown and against <laughs> the fucking Lions. All right, who you taking, Chris Carter or Keyshawn Johnson? Chris Carter. Well, yeah, yeah, Chris, yeah. But like Keyshawn Johnson just ain't that nigga for me, though. I will take. I'm t I'm I'm taking uh nigga I might take what's name Antoine Bolden over that nigga dog yeah hey, for real nigga. Yeah, yeah it's a lot of, it's like you were on the list there's a lot of niggas you gonna name before you get to and he probably was the last receiver that was the number one draft pick mm -hmm. yeah but Keyshawn Johnson to me when you go overrated receivers he's definitely up there yeah yeah I do not fuck with Keyshawn Johnson dog that nigga <laughs> well his best season probably was with the Jets or some shit when he had uh. Was it was my but man named Chad Pennington or some shit? Oh, or, or or was it with Vinny? It might it might have been Vinny, yeah. It might be Vinny, dog. But yeah, that nigga, I do not want. Then they be keeping that nigga around talk basketball. Like nigga, you man, mm. no, dog. <laughs> Skip, you fucked up, dog. You should have motherfucking gave Shannon his respect, nigga. You was you was fighting with Skip. I mean, with uh, Stephen A. for the for the views and shit, dog. They like, put your glasses back. Dog. <laughs> that nigga Shannon wanted to be his ass, dog. <laughs> that nigga was mad as fuck, dog. But shit, man. If what what um what other new things? Oh, let's talk about real quick before we end it off, dog. They had their shit with the with uh the diss tracks, top fifteen diss tracks. I think the number one diss track was uh hit him up, and um to me, hit him up was was a straight yeah. diss. But I just hate the outlaws on there. Oh yeah, that's what. And yeah, that's what, yeah. I definitely wanted. I wanted to get to that. Yeah, I wanted. I wanted to, I wanted to talk to Kendrick shit with you. And shit, yeah, too. yeah, yeah. So I, at first, I don't think you was really fucking with the whole with the shit. First, looking at your Facebook shit, though. I think you was no, like, you know what it is. So like, around, I get but... the, no, I get I get the trolling and shit because like. Even like like Bron like them, them fan bases like like Bron yeah, fan base shit, dog, Jordan good. fan base you know like I'm a Kobe you know I'm, I'm a, no I'm a Kobe nigga you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying so once the niggas like if I get annoyed enough I get the I get the trolling motherfuckers yeah but as far as like the, not to to the top dishes I I definitely that was always my sentiment would hit them up because them outlaw niggas they nah you know what I'm saying fuck that whole shit yeah up, like really it was. The opening bars were, and then the, all the talking he did at yeah, the end. Yeah, that's yeah. what really was the was yep. the shit behind. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because they nigga had sickle cells and shit. All yeah, shit. yeah. It's like, yeah, that shit. Um, like the most, I will probably like best this. I mean, or you said like the most skate is with the most skate one or the or, the, or just the top. Just one? the top one. It will probably have to be either no Vaseline. Yeah, yeah. I say no Vaseline. One of one of them that don't get talked about enough is is uh uh Compton G's. Real Compton G's. Yeah, that that and uh and Drake Drake Drake, 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 Drake they was, yeah. was 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 hot too. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. they went at they went at Luke, they went at Cube, they yep. went at Easy. Yep, yep, yep. Um yeah. but yeah, but it's like on the on the on the Kendrick shit. Yeah. The that shit was like <laughs> the, the the whole shit like is so many layers to this shit. And like when the shit made the the turn, like up until Family Matters, yeah. like starting from um, 
from like that. Yeah. Uh, like I like the whole shit. Like when Future, no, I, I fuck with Future. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, I you fuck know, Future. You know what I'm saying? So when he when he announced his album, when he gave the track list, it wasn't no features. Yeah, he had no, yeah, he had no, no, features. He had no yeah. features on there. He didn't list the features. So you going through the, you know what I'm saying? You going through the songs or whatever, and then like that came on. I'm like, okay, this. It's yeah. an old school hip hop type yeah. beat. Like yeah. you and like it was, it, was, it was hard to have Metro Metro went, Flex, crazy Metro, Metro went crazy and then like future rapping on a on a, 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 a like a, a historical hip hop beat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then you say Kendrick, I'm like, okay, this this an odd pair. <laughs> future and, and Kendrick, but I never thought that, but Duh. shit, future got Kendrick outside, okay. Yeah. And he like yeah, for all the dogs, all these shit, all these yeah. shots when I come with three switches. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Hell yeah, nigga, this nigga, crazy. Oh, this nigga sent his shots like, Hell yeah. So yeah, so then when it, when it went from that, and then it, it was so much like the funny part is going back to back to back with Drake, right? Yeah. Kendrick hit every he hit Drake with everything he hit with me. He yeah, hit on me exactly. Like he flipped everything on yeah. him. So he caught when Meek was on tour, right? Meek was on tour when he when he came out charged up, yeah. And he went back to back. Meek so oblivious to the fucking fact. Yeah. Now, granted, to his credit, yes, you on your girl tour, mm. but you you clearing a hundred thousand a show. Yeah. And at the end of the night, you fucking Nicky Raw. <laughs> so no, I'm not paying attention to the fucking internet. Yeah, man, I'm, yeah. I'm getting six figures a night, and I'm fucking the baddest bitch in the game. Exactly. When I'm going on, no, I don't care what this nigga say yeah, behind yeah. his keyboard. Like, uh-huh. But you getting cooked, like like nigga getting cooked. So it's like and you came with that weekend. You came back to back, and then you come up with some yeah, under, Undertaker, Undertaker shirt. <laughs> Got flag, Vince McMahon flagged your shit. Duh. So yeah, that was terrible. But but the fact that he was on tour, so he caught Drake and and Cole while they yeah. was on tour. So yeah. they, everybody like Drake, where you at? Drake, where you at? We know Drake gonna respond. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Exactly. He ain't never ducked no smoke. Yeah. And then Cole came and and did what he did. So I was more happy with Cole because I was wondering like. Well, no, the two the two two v one shit. I was thinking like this gonna look kind of whack on their part because now is they gonna click up and do a song, do a song on them, yeah, yeah. or are they gonna who gonna who gonna drop the song first, or yeah. are they gonna drop the song back to back? Is it's kind of you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. versus him or whatever. So I was I was real curious how they how they played that shit out. So I'm like Cole jumped out there first. So I'm like hell yeah, this is what I really want to see. Yeah, These niggas lyricists. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the, the really the top niggas. In my opinion, Cole was the nigga. Yeah, Cole me too. Was the That's top, what, yeah. was, was the top nigga and. What I was so mad about with Cole is not only that you not that you apologize, it's the shit that you've been popping up until that point. Exactly. Yeah, wait for the smoke. Wanting the you smoke. been asking yeah. for the smoke. Literally. <laughs> I'm gonna get on some I'm gonna do even on first person shooter, he was in my opinion, he was going at Drake too. Like yeah. I, I get on their songs and I do this, that, and third. Yeah. Like you, you own this nigga song yeah. talking about when you get on nigga's song and, and tear that shit down. Yeah, I was mad though. So I was like, we niggas niggas put you at the at the top. It was some people you know, like as always was a debate. Yeah, really. but, Nigga, the last three, the shit he did with uh on the Yachty beat or, or Yachty, oh, yeah, it went crazy. And then the, we, shit, the shit he did with uh, ben, uh Benny, Benny, yep, Benny yep. Butcher, the shit he got on uh Bia, yeah, like he yeah. like he had like a three year run. He just smoking <laughs> nigga shit, like yeah. smoke the dirt shit. He smoking everybody shit. So yeah, I was mad. Though. He get on there, then he like I'm like okay, yeah, these are niggas is about to go. Then he's like I'm, just, man, you still apologize. Yeah, your mental like, health is, man. Yeah, like I'm like I'll say shit, Kendrick, just like you, he got a family in the yeah. His mental health seemed to be fine. He's, he's back in the shot. It's like lyrically, like, and he ain't like I said. That nigga, it with with him and him and J Cole niggas. Niggas was gonna be scrapping. Niggas go was gonna be down behind and, shit. It's gonna just be lyrics. And I don't even think that. Like the P, I don't think it was. It was been because Grand. I was like, okay, now that this shit got messy. I don't think he would have had that energy. No, to, no, to no, no. I think he was just been, been been kept him like lyrical, yeah. like. You know what I'm saying? When he took a, when he took a shot at his album, he probably would have took a shot at his album because a lot mm-hmm. of people feel Cole got some some snoozers, some, 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 some snoozers or whatever. Sure. You know what I'm saying? But when he when he backed out or whatever, I'm like, man, come on now. Because <laughs> now it's like, all right, so like this next shit, I don't, I just okay, you want to apologize? That's cool, but I don't want to hear no more of this talk that yeah, I'm the best you rapper yourself, because yeah. you say I'm the best rapper, I'm the best rapper, I'm the best rapper, and then niggas step up. That's like I beat anybody ass in here, <laughs> and then nigga walk up and be like, what up, nigga? Oh, uh, my bad, I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, bro. Nigga, I'm just talking shit. Yeah, like, yeah, like, I'm saying. You know, to be like, oh, he protecting his mental yeah. health and all that. And people are all like, man, I, I just hate. I, that's the part of the internet I hate too. Like everybody want to be the politically correct and not yeah. keep it a buck. Yeah, for sure. Like this shit, this shit rapping, bro. Yeah, like, like you saying like this nigga came. That's why I'm, I'm like, I wish I wanted like Drake and Kendrick to send a shot of that nigga. Like, mm-hmm. I'm glad yeah, he said that shit. Like, he, but he was right. But my thing, lose sleep, nigga. It ain't me. <laughs> yeah, but that nigga, uh, Drake shit that uh, um. With the Family Matters, yeah, that shit would have been hard if he didn't drop that shit, nigga. Hour after, 
the uh meet the Rams. That's, and- that's what fucked up because nigga, you just like stumped because everybody talking about that shit. Then that's the I know I woke back up. Like, hold on, this nigga had dropped another. Like right after that shit, nigga. Just to, it's like he was preparing, and knew what you was gonna do, bro. Nah, look, nah, let me tell you, let me tell you the story too about uh, that. So now, nah, also now, if you think about uh, in terms of basketball, mm-hmm. Kendrick went on a. If you look at it, he went on a four one run. <laughs> Yeah, he did. So they could drop Euphoria, yep. back to back with the six one six. Drake came and then he dropped two more of that. So you you got sandwich and you, you got now and then I say like the, the meek shit. He he went back like the 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 hype or the shock value of going back to back from this is with the the precedent that you set. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So he went back to back on them two, and then he went back to back again on you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But here go the story. Um, so like right before Family Matters dropped. It's like it's Friday. It's like I get an inbox like ten something, like ten thirty or something like that. Mm-hmm. So I'm actually, it's my, it's my dog, my dog, and uh, he down, my dog down in Dallas, and shit. Who I, uh, you know, what I'm saying I went stay with when I went down there to the printer. Ironically, mm-hmm. he from the D, but he, he down, he down there. Mm-hmm. So he's like, he hit my inbox like, so like yo slime, I got some intel. Yeah. So on, on the Kendrick shit, so I'm like, word. So he say, man, he say, um. Basically, I know somebody that that knows somebody that that yeah. know that know Whitney. Yeah, he's like my people. My he's like man, they they uh, there's some people feeding Kendrick them some uh some info mm-hmm. or whatever. Yeah. So he's like, he like he waiting on Drake to drop. He say the Drake Drake drop anything out, out of pocket. He say he's like a bomb on that nigga. So I'm like, damn. I'm like, now the whole day Drake been tipping his hand or whatever. Mm-hmm. He been like posting little stories little story, and shit, yeah, and stories yeah. and shit. Like, <laughs> and that's all the whole time. Kendrick, all oh, Kendrick dropped out of nowhere. We was all waiting. Kendrick, where you at? When Kendrick, where you at? He finally dropped. He never said on social media. He never tweeted. He, yeah, we he still like we still ain't heard from him. No, he just, exactly. he just oh. popped music. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So Drake was like tipping his hand or whatever. Like, oh, he, the little red button meme. You know what I mean, mm-hmm. like I'm about to press the red button. So I'm thinking like, damn, this nigga walking into a trip. <laughs> <laughs> and then so exactly did, family, family matters dropped. I'm like, I'm like, oh shit, he dropped it. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, he dropped it. So I inboxed him back. Like, Drake, I'm like, Drake dropped it. Mm. So then, right after, I'm like, I'm like, oh, this nigga. I'll say this nigga talking, talking crazy. He talking about this nigga beat his bitch. And, yeah, and, uh, and, and, with and, that you know, daddy and yeah, like that. Somebody's like, son ain't his kid and shit, man. <laughs> Nigga, like about 10, 20 minutes later, I'm like, found me the grams. I'm like, oh shit, like. <laughs> And, and to me, family matter. Like and he came with the video, and they, like he did everything right, but he tipped the nigga tipped his hand. Mm-hmm. He should have just like he should have just, just let it come out, like exactly without yeah no announcements. And, and then also thinking, I think Drake ego fucked him up. I, I, I guess thinking like the narrative that Kendrick only yeah. raps so many so exactly. often or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. This nigga low at the crib. <laughs> like, low, low. I think he most shit that he put it out. And, and and the shit and the shit ended up being accurate he told me because he said specifically he say he say Kendrick got a 19 minute song. And this is, he told me this before everybody started, you know, saying this shit or mm-hmm. whatever. He say he got a 19 minute song. He say but it's it's broken up into parts or some shit like yeah, that. Yeah. So he say like they, and then people were saying like it was specifically it was 19 minutes so mm-hmm. that's how I know I'm like this is accurate because that's an odd ass number yeah for sure you know what I'm saying so I'm like damn but I thought man, I thought Family Matters was the as far as like skill mm-hmm. as far as like the flows and stuff I think that was the best the, the best shit yeah. I think maybe he just ain't have a Kendrick ain't really outside ain't really yeah. I think even with J. Cole, he was like, man, your album's wack. That's all I got, bro. <laughs> That's all I got. Bro. Like, I don't really, I don't really got much album no, for you. But when he dropped that shit with Mustard, it was like, nigga, not now you dropped a club banger. Yeah, the same, like you said, back same to shit back. back to back. Yeah, not, yeah. not everybody on that bitch. Then you got Mustard, nigga, come back outside, nigga. Yeah. Like, nigga, hold on. Y'all been talking about all these other yeah. niggas. I, I do this shit too. And then you you put, and then you put them PDF file on the nigga. Yeah. It, it's hard to beat. It's hard to Bro. beat that. It's hard. You, it's hard. It's nothing that you like, really. Like I said, that's why I was mad more for saying like, "Oh, you you lying, nigga." We still don't have proof that nigga Drake ain't lying about the nigga free being his kid dad. Like they yeah, or him and, beating his bitch or him not even being with her. Like nigga, both when it comes to rapping and beef, niggas gonna lie, bro. Pop didn't smash face. Like you know, what I don't saying? know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that one, bro. 
<laughs> I mean, I mean, it's her word to get there. It's like nobody never know. But you know, you know, if niggas gonna, you know, what I'm saying it's gonna go live some but, shit. But, but, ain't, but ain't no way, Faith. You, you ain't talking about you ain't know they was beefing. Like, oh yeah, you got be under you know, a motherfucking rock, nigga. Not to yeah. do that shit, dog. But, but yeah, that shit. When it comes to beef songs, like back then, I think it was just better now because it's better then than now because you ain't have social media. So niggas was impressing you. Like nigga, yeah. Nas didn't drop what's name right after motherfucking yeah. on the takeover. He took time, he took months. Right. And, or you got some niggas who go to a rail station and rapping this niggas like how the rock yeah. do and shit like and but beans I, and kiss. Yeah. But that, that, that's why I I didn't like when like people online was saying shit like Oh, Drake, and he like when when he first dropped the uh, the, the push ups, mm-hmm. it was like it was people were like, Oh, he ain't even claim it. Like he, he ain't even claim it yet. Or he ain't even put it on the on the streaming platform. Yeah, like but that, we're like, I say like we used to they used to get the records from Clue and <laughs> yeah, all that yeah, ain't that's it. they gave the record to Clue. So yeah. if, he, if he gave it or if he gave it to academics or whatever, that's like the new shit. Yeah, man, for but, sure. But uh but Euphoria, I that that one is um that was my favorite one. Yeah, I fuck with that one too. You, yeah. Euphoria is, is is my is my favorite one from from Kendrick or yeah. whatever. Um, back like they say, back to back was like I mean not the back to back, the not like us. Yeah. Like I say, it was like when he came out and did that. I'm like, oh shit, it, it's over now. Because I I think too, who you showing the uh, like you they was keeping like the polls and shit online. Yeah. That's another thing they didn't have. Like they they got the polls, yeah. and I'm looking at like when he came out with Meet the Grams. And I seen these like the polls was kind of like I'm on Twitter and shit too. The polls like 65, 35 Kendrick. So I'm like, I'm like, damn, like that match shit was hard. But I'm like, see it. But I'm like, but then, but I'm like, I don't know if they was believing the daughter shit or not, or but yeah. whatever it was. So I think he seen that was like, okay, I gotta, I gotta put my foot on yeah. his neck now. Like I'm, it, I'm already up. I'm gonna hit it with another one. It's just the way, it's just the way he dropped it. it the way he did it and structured the, the shit was perfect. The, the strategy, the strategy was was perfect. But I, I just want to see like. But now we just seen he just did he just put the little BBL Drizzy shit. But I was wanting to see like what was gonna be his next moves. He's gonna chill, he's gonna go away for a minute. But it seemed like he just not doing what he's gonna keep on doing whatever he was doing. But yeah, that's how he lost the push, man. Niggas start getting too emotional when niggas be saying shit and niggas, niggas get the best of him and shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? But when he mad, like when he when he like when he made that shit on Scorpion, like man, sick of these niggas. Oh yeah, yeah. Sick of these niggas. No, I nigga, he comes with shit. You know what I'm saying? That shit was no, no. When he was saying like, like I like Drake with the melodies, but I don't like him like tough. But <laughs> nigga Kendrick went crazy. Tough, tough talk Drake be coming with some shit. Hey, though. Nigga, <laughs> that, that nigga tough, yeah, tough ass Drake be coming with some shit. Though. I ain't gonna lie to you, dog. Now the, I'm gonna end off like this: It's the holiday shit. We got eat barbecue and shit, maybe and shit, dog. But yeah. um, I don't know if niggas eat pork and shit. Nah, like, I don't fuck with the pork. Yeah, I was. I remember you said that shit. I I can't leave that shit alone, dog. I, I'm the only nigga who still eat pork chops in this bitch. Boneless, though. I don't like the motherfucker. You know, what I'm saying bone in pause. <laughs> But uh, you was the first one I did the what's name with the uh, drunk moment, hot moment. You had that. Oh, yeah. nigga, you, you, his nigga got the most classic story with the motherfucker. Uh, oh, the Canadian the, yeah, the, the, the letters and shit, dog. So this is one shit, dog. It's called Do You Know Your Past? Little, some little, I'm going to ask you some little questions see if you know, know the shit, the answer to it, dog. So okay. I know you, you probably watch cartoons and shit like that back in the day. Yeah, yeah. So on the show, Doug, what was his last name? Funny. Oh shit! What what was the dog name? Hot dog. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> name was uh, it was some dumb shit like that. No, his name wasn't hot dog, but it was like, what the fuck was his name? <laughs> um, pork chop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, dog. What was the event that Hulk Hogan became an NWO member? Bash at the beach. Damn, you know your shit. Okay, okay. Oh, <laughs> that's a I know my raffle shit for sure. What does AAA stand for? Hunter Hearst Hamilton. Hell yeah, that's it, dog. All right, what did the crackhead off Menace try to sell the old dog? He uh, cracked a cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where was Kane and Jay Pickett playing on moving to before he got shot up? ATL. Hell yeah, hell yeah. What was the uh, black Yellow Ranger name that replaced the Chinese girl? Hold on. Uh, oh, uh, uh, <laughs> her name was Ashley, right? Nope. Hold on. Because Tr- Trini was the uh was, was the Chinese girl. Yep. Maybe her real name was that. What was her name? Was what was her name? I, I don't got that one. Aisha. Aisha. <laughs> all right, yeah. Aisha. All right. All right. All right. On Brenda's guy, baby, who did she get pregnant by? Her cousin, her uncle, or her stepdad? Uh, I think it was it was it was her uncle. 
No, her cousin. Her cousin. Her, her, her boyfriend was her cousin. Remember that joke on the little uh, part? Yeah. Yeah, got on Lil Wayne and Block is Hot album. Who was the young what was the young lady name that got ran by the hot boys? <laughs> Keisha. Yo, Keisha wanted me to meet Yeah, got a phone call from Keisha. Keisha wanted me to meet Hell yeah. All right, last one. On the six men, what college did Marlon who for? Watched it. Yep, watch the Watch the yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. I was watching movies on Easter. Okay, okay. You got all of them except for uh Brenda um and the Chinese girl, dog. Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised you like the bash at the beach. I thought you was gonna get that one. Oh yeah, nigga. That was the nigga. That was legendary. Nigga, nigga when, it's like nigga as a little kid, nigga. You was that bitch like dog. I, I can't believe this shit just happened, nigga. Uh, and then the shit about then I like all this behind the scenes shit now, yeah. like you know, like that nigga Hulk Hogan was a piece of shit, bro. No, he was. He that was, nigga dog. was a piece of shit. He for was. Real. Like, yeah. I'm mad. I, I'm mad. I used to. Used oh, to I got one for you, like dog. <laughs> what was on heart? Um, um, other character name when he had passed away. Oh, Blue Blazer. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, dog. Yeah, but you watch what's name. He be saying some shit. He got a good podcast, dog. The Undertaker shit. Oh yeah, yeah. Undertaker, Undertaker was talking about uh Hulk Hogan. Like he said, first time he fought him, Hulk Hogan was like, "I'm a little nervous about you doing the tombstone, though. I want to." You fuck my neck up. He said, "No, I got you. I got you." So now, uh, 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 Undertaker's like, "Damn, now I got this pressure on me because you already scared. So now I gotta make sure I don't fuck you up because you Hulk Hogan, right?" So he said, when he did it, nigga, he said, "I made sure his his head was so far up that my knee hit the ground. Not his his head didn't touch that bitch." Yeah. So he said he did it. He's like, "So when he did it, Hulk Hogan was like, oh, brother, you hurt my neck.'" <laughs> <laughs> so he said, "What hey, I did?" He said, "Dog, my career over, nigga. I just started." He said, he "Look at the tape, like." Nigga, your head just hit the. <laughs> he like nigga, he, he scared that he about to get sued, about to get kicked off the the uh, WWF and shit, dog. No, uh, Undertaker, funny ass nigga. I, I just watched some of his clips, dog. He funny as fuck. Yeah, that nigga. Uh, yeah, that nigga Hulk Hogan, man. That yeah, nigga, he a bitch. And that nigga be lying. That nigga up there with like him, Brian, the game, and uh, Kevin Gates, like the top level, like the Mount Rushmore, the lying ass niggas, bro. <laughs> Those niggas be lying like a motherfucker, bro. Hey, did you hear a story that they? They didn't even know if Hulk Hogan was going to come down there for Bash at the Beach. So he had Sting as, like, the second option just in case he didn't come. Yeah, and they said they, they gave that nigga, like, creative control. Mm -hmm. So the nigga used to pop up and be like, nah, I ain't, I ain't losing the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga, it must have been lost that belt, nigga. And then he was talking about how Ultimate Warrior, he wanted to get fired because he's like, nigga, I want the same money that that nigga Hulk Hogan get, nigga. I want everything he get, I'm getting. And then Vince was like, nigga, oh, fuck you, nigga. You fired, basically. That nigga Vince. Ultimate Warrior was that nigga though. That nigga, he was on cocaine, oh, but man. that nigga Vince, that nigga he having freak offs and shit too. That nigga will freak, uh, freaky, he a freaky ass nigga. Yeah. Sixty nine <laughs> guy too. Cause that for nigga, sure. for that sure. nigga was naming this motherfucking uh have dildos naming them after the rafters for the girls and shit. Duh, like, yeah, duh, that nigga, that's some weird shit. Yeah, and you look at all the storylines that nigga was doing all that dumb ass shit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. They said they wanted to do a story. Like, incest with yeah, him and, him yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah. Stephanie McMahon. Stephanie McMahon and, uh, and Shane, they wanted to do uh, an incest storyline and shit. Yeah, yeah, them nigga, wow. yeah, that nigga freak ass nigga, dog. But shit, man, hey, man, it was good having you on this motherfucker, man, dog. Man, glad to be back, man. Nigga, Five years later, man. Nigga, that shit, nigga, that shit crazy. crazy. All you, like, you went through that list, all everything that, that changed since then, yeah. it was crazy. Kobe and Nip gone. Nigga, for real. Like I said, Cam Mace was beefing hard Cam as fuck. Cam right, nigga, the Oracle and shit. Nigga, that was a hard-ass diss track, that too. Was, that was hard. Ain't gonna no lie. That nigga, ain't was talking about that shit on the show, like, nigga, you came crazy, right. nigga. <laughs> Hell yeah, dog. But shit, man, episode 199, I had to bring the homie back, dog. Tell them where they can find you at, dog, and you know what I'm saying? Get some shit from you as far as the canvas and shit like that, dog. Oh, uh, you can hit me up on on, on IG, uh, right now, custom print. Mm -hmm. Um, if you want to, I, I don't really post my personal page a lot, but mm -hmm. uh, I'll probably want to be so in the stories and shit, but mm -hmm. Slime Ball Shine on IG. Mm -hmm. For sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah, dog. 199 had to come back before we get to the 200s, and man. Fuck, finish off with my nigga Sean, dog. Hopefully, we get some music from this nigga, dog. The whole time saying shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? I know he on to his business shit. He he, he ain't put the motherfucking button up on like Jay Z and shit. Man. Took the jersey off, dog. Man, I might be might put the pen behind somebody else, man. Oh yeah, for sure. Man. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I wish I wasn't too old. I'll tell you, you no. Know, hey, give me some bars, nigga. But yeah. <laughs> too old, nigga. Fuck that rap shit, dog. But shit, man. Showers, everybody. Episode 199. My nigga Sean Streets. Man, we all just motherfuckers.